Juju. Juju. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Attacking the power of Juju. Didn't I do back to back? Yeah, I did last week, didn't I? Ugh. Yeah. Alright. Come on, Juju. Alright, let's see. So, last time on Megum, we. We began with the, uh. We began with going back from politics and, uh, doing the. Uh, the crafting. the enchanting exam. Where, uh, Julia, you know, as I always do, despite the one who should have excelled the most at that fucking role, and I didn't make it that difficult, somehow I really d d failed. Look, I'm just saying, I'm only using it because it's funny, and, you know... It, it's not even, like, that good of a benefit if it happens, if it succeeds. But anyways... Fun do. Um, Julia eventually makes uh, funny glasses, enchants, enchants her glasses to give herself uh, passive night vision and uh, a, immunity to the blindness condition. Um, and then we have Quinn enchants a, uh, a, a musical bow for Toto, I think, through bullshit of, uh, stringing a lute, except making it a bow. Uh, and it definitely, definitely doesn't hurt you. It, 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 don't, don't worry if it hurts you when you use it. it just, just ignore totally that. Totally doesn't cut you. Yeah, just, just just ignore that. <laughs> and then um, Taps made uh, the, uh, the ability to d do a couple things. I forget exactly what it was. I know that starting a fire was one of them because that's going to come in handy. Uh, Porter... I forget what Porter made. I'll be honest. It was like a like a slippery sort of thing. Uh, he now has hover speed equal to his movement speed. Okay. Yeah, and thanks for cucking us, Quinn. Thank you for that. Quinn did stop Porter from putting heater on his enchantment. Yep, this is true. This is true. Um, and then. Uh, other people made things? I don't remember what they were, though. That that, that about covers it. Uh, did, a couple people probably failed. But I don't think that they were really anyone that I cared to um, note. That sound about right, James? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think anyone... No one important felt in enchanting. Yet. Um, and then then we cut over to politics where it's like, alright. Time to decide on what teams are merging with what. Uh, which basically starts off with seeing like, okay. Why don't we just choose two teams that should merge with each other and then debate which, debate amongst ourselves about what we should do? So Glass and I are going to be like, yeah, let's team up, except I also hate you and we need to struggle for power right now. And Wood and Gold are like, yeah, happy fun time. Let's argue about who should be in power. And then everyone comes up with a creative solution. Uh... Well, not a creative solution, but, you know, the funny looper loophole where it's like, oh, you know, only, like, we have a, a list of people who are second-class citizens, but, you know, it's a combination from both teams to be sacrifices. Anyways. Anyway. And then Leanne's like, all right, cool, whatever, um... Yeah, now you guys have to vote off 
Now, now you have you all have to basically each each team gets to choose one person for a majority vote, um, and that person gets uh, expelled. So yeah, uh, have fun with that. And after much deliberation, uh, everyone on Team Wood Gold chose Leanne, and everyone on Team Iron Glass also chose Leanne. And Leanne was like, well, shit. Yeah, you found the loophole. Congrats, I guess I'm not expelling any of you. Except for you, Fielda. Fuck you. You didn't make it to this <laughs> point. Um? And that was about it for politics. Everyone came out and was like, yeah, we were... You weren't the leader of Team Wood anymore for a little bit. Julia's very confused about what the fuck happened, but it's like, yeah, don't worry, it doesn't matter anymore. No, no, no one cares to explain what the fuck happened in there. Um, and then we moved on to uh, gardening, which gardening's exam was like, hey, I'm gonna fucking poison you. So uh, if you don't want to get poisoned and potentially die, uh, fuck off, be a little bitch and fuck off. Uh, so then we lost, uh, we lost Becky to that, um, a bunch of other l lesser named NPCs were like, ah, like Pip, Pip couldn't do it, um, and then, uh, Carter was like, hey, so, uh, I don't want to ingest poison. But I hope you win. Essentially, there was there was more to it. It was it was it was better than that. Uh, I just don't want to go through that again. Honestly, I'm not gonna go through the entire RP with that. Uh, and then Carter's like, "Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna go maybe write a book. I don't know." And uh, he fucked off. He's no longer on Team Wood or in the school. He 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 gone. Um, and then we split into uh, two teams. Uh, Team Wood split into two teams. Porter, uh, Porter, Sol Sully, Jesus. Porter, Toto, and Julia. And then the other team was Sully, Barkley, Crystal, and, and Taps, yeah. Um, which, little did we know it, but they're stacked for this. Um they have so much survivability for this specific test. It's insane. Um, so yeah, we split off into two teams. Uh, in ingested the poison. Was like, oh shit, that that's poison. That doesn't feel good. And then we went through the portal, and it's like, alright, time to figure out what the fuck you have and how you're going to cure it. And so we we figured out that we have uh shit uh, I don't have the the, the 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 page up failure I'm sorry I'm sorry um moist disease moist <laughs> is that your final answer there you ice bones ice yeah, bones y'all have moist disease. The disease where you get moist. I, 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 uh, we have chilling core. Fuck off! I was almost there. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have chilling core, and um, which essentially is like, yeah, you are cold as all fuck, uh, unless you are basically by a fire, you are going to take water damage and you are also vulnerable to water damage uh so uh yeah have fun with that and it's like oh okay well i guess we need to uh try our best to find the the the, the water boys I, I, I don't remember it was like water bears or something fisher cubs fisher cubs they, i mean they're water bears i just forgot the exact name
fish cubs. Anyways, we need to go find them because uh, something about them is an ingredient that we can use to make an alchemy potion to cure ourselves of chilling core. Uh, so we're like, all right, let's see. Uh, I think that there is a lake slash river in this direction. And we started traveling. Uh, we hold up for the night at a camp. And uh, then one of the... Uh, man, I really don't remember these names. Uh, Romers? Manabungs? Yeah, the Manabungs. We saw a Manabung charging towards us, and it's like, okay, well, uh, stop. There, that it, like, it was very evident that it was just planning on running through our camp. And it's like, oh, something's chasing it, isn't it? And that's when the roamers came. We're like, well, we could definitely kill these, but God, that's going to suck for for resting. Um, so instead, we tried to find a way out of the combat, which was uh, through intimidating them, you know, making them think that the, the mana bung was the easier target. Um, which nobody was very good at, uh, until, uh, Toto had the brilliant idea, I've got it! I can turn, <laughs> I can turn Kotal into, into some beast that they'll be afraid of. But, uh, in his panic, Toto could not think of an animal that they would be afraid of, so, uh, Kino, but an eldritch abomination. So just Kino. Um, and uh, the dogs were like, oh shit. Yeah, no, that, that works. Uh, we we, we out of here. And we were like, what the fuck? Why did that work? Uh, the next day, the mana gets fucky as we're uh, traveling. Like, there's a, a lot of mana in one spot. Like, a, like, way too much. And it's really strange. Because I think we're at, like, four times our max mana pool right now, which is absurd. Um, and that's when we find a little town. Where everything, where there's no sign of anyone being there. And it looks like it's been this way for a while. Uh, and that's when Toto's like, time to use Pathfinder. And uh, Toto figured out that this is where Kino used to be. And that something fucked happened here. Uh, and then we found a little cabin with... Uh, somebody in it and a painting of kino question mark porter was in the, he found the picture okay it was just porter that found the picture i'm sorry i i, I got a little confused during that part and of the session Lobin was there it was me gonna love it <laughs> i'm actually a painter <laughs> um but yeah and then that's where we left off pretty much is uh, finding that little 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 hut with a painting of Kino in it. All right. So, uh, giving the the scene we're on the movie with the half of our party here, uh, we're gonna open up the camera to uh, <laughs> two people walking in, sort of taking a shot of uh, the sun beaming down, and two shadows sort of filling the doorway, as the camera follows them inside. As Porter flips around a painting, and it is Kino, um, sleeping on the floor peacefully, a uh, smile actually on her face. As you are in the room again to describe it, it looks like it's a huntsman cabin. Uh, there are du uh, old and dusty, but there are bows on the walls, different 
uh, different styles of them. Arrows, um, sort of like beneath them. There uh, looks to be like a, a skinning table. A uh, simple place to cook and a bed. Doesn't like it's a very wealthy place. Just a simple and you know can keep the cold out things like that. And at the foot of the bed, um, on the floor is sort of a place where you see a pillow and a cover. Ah, uh, did the Kino did live here? I I guess. <clears throat> I suppose so. James, is, do I recognize this place from creepy <laughs> visions that I was forced to have? Yeah. As you take it in, Toto recognizes it first, but you solely as well, um, Julia. This was the cabin that uh, Kino um, would, would, would stay at whenever she was done with, with her sort of uh, wanderings out the woods, helping Nana pass on. This is where she was taken and right, and like sort of taken care of and brought back to some form of humanity. Hmm. Why? What? <clears throat> uh. Well, that's. I didn't know she lived. Where, wherever we're at, I didn't think she honestly had a home. How creepy she acts. Um. Maybe. Long story short, Porter, um, she used to not have a home, and then she was taken in and had this, this home taken from her. Oh, wait. So Kino didn't kill all these people because that—that's what the vibe I was getting from here. <clears throat> We don't know what happened to the people here. Kino I... definitely did something to them, but I don't think it was necessarily kill. I wouldn't say she didn't kill them, though. Yeah, we just have to, we actually have no idea what the fuck Kino did. You see, like, just like a terrified look as Cora looks at the picture. I, yeah, if I didn't know her, I would not believe that a girl that looks like that could do something like this. Yeah, um, on, on the way back, I want to take the picture. I want to bring it to Kino. So, we'll just leave it here, then? For now, let's put it somewhere a little bit safer, just in case something happens. I don't want it to get destroyed while we're gone. And, well, what's your idea of safer, exactly? Uh... Is there like a chest or something around here, James? Uh, you can find like a it looks to be a dresser. Yeah, we'll stick it in that. Okay, you open it up and you see various clothing. Uh, you also see there's a journal on the top of the clothes. <laughs> oh fuck! Uh, fuck! Let Let's grab the journal and put the painting in there. Hide the painting behind all the clothes and stuff. Okay. What's in the journal, James? What's <laughs> Uh, it is simply a lot of random scribbles for a lot of the pages, and then a few, and then uh, random breaks in them are just sentences of, I like it here, I like Foster, I don't want to leave, this place makes me happy, it's the only home I've had in a while, it's kind of what you get, and the last page is... He's gone, 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 he's gone. He's gone. Scribbled madly on the pages. And then at the very end of the, sort of, where the writing ends, it's just a simple phrase, I'll do anything to bring him back. Why do, why does everyone on our team slowly chronologue their descent into madness? I don't know. <laughs> this uh, is the third journal yeah. <laughs> that pertains to our team main team members that have been has been Barclay. fucking ramblings Wait. of a madman. <laughs> Who's it not? That's Bar Wait, you talking about Taps? Barkley, yes. Taps' parents are yeah. like it's but yeah, I count that. Yeah. This is the third fucking one. Wait until Toto starts his. Anyway. <laughs> oh, you you already needed to start yours, bud. Uh, whoever's reading over the journal, I need you to make me a uh, inv 
investigation. Fuck. Or history. Damn. Too bad I'm not. Oh, that, I. Uh, yeah, no. Too you bad I'm not. You could take it from it. me afterwards. Hey, guess who has history but no longer has the mastery in it? Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, crap, hold on. I have to roll for today. Do you? You do? I thought, this yes. was ha I thought we had those somewhere. No, James took the five, and I never re-rolled after that. Oh, okay. I could be wrong. All right, anyways. Uh, you, are you leaving me alone, Jewel, Julia? Um... I, I'm not. I'm not rolling anything on it right now. I'm. I'm just. You know, Toto sure. picked up a book and started. You know, paging through it. Okay, Toto, you look at it and you look back. At, you know, there's the sin, the mag madness in the last few pages, but it's not like these are these scribbles are just like random scribbles. They have patterns to them. Like what? What do you mean? Like are they making a picture or are they like a code? It looks like. They could be seen as letters, just letters you've never, like, what language do you speak? Uh, I speak, um, Gab, and I speak the new, um... The Beastmaster one, okay. Yeah, the new Beastmaster language, it's, that's you it. seem like this could be letters, it's just characters you've never, or you're not Unless Nomad at gives all. me another language. Uh, I don't think so. <clears throat> so yeah, that's what you take from that. Hey... What can can you tell what these letters are like from what language? And um, I'll I'll show it to Julia. Letters? Yeah, the the words they're making a pattern. It looks like letters. Hmm. What are they? Uh, do I do I recognize them, James? What language do you speak? I speak Gab, Voss, and Comments. Uh. Uh. You, you can say I don't recognize them. <laughs> no, I'm just you don't recognize them, but they the way that they're worded out, they have a similar style to the runic signs of comments. But it's not comments at all. Hmm. Ah, it's under comments, I see, I see. Under comments. <laughs> Go back to this. <laughs> um They're similar in style to comments, almost, but not quite the same. Uh, I doubt Porter does, but Porter! Huh? Uh, do these letters look familiar to you in any way? Nope. Alright. <laughs> That I shouldn't have expected anything more. Um, <laughs> oh, actually, this one we use uh, in... in... What is it? Uh, Griff. Oh, wait. Oh, these things? Wait, he grabs a book. I mean, like, it's not code or anything. Uh, it's just, but I see Kino writing this stuff a lot. Wait, she writes this stuff? Yeah. Uh, when she's, like, studying stuff, she writes like this. And then she translates it when she's turning in her homework. Mm -hmm. Huh. So it's an actual language. Oh damn, I don't own one of those. I only have proficiency in the kit. <laughs> I don't own an archaeologist kit. I only have proficiency in it. <sighs> so this is just another mystery that we have to hope that we can find some sort of translation for. It's... Seems as though. I mean, I wouldn't expect there to be any translations around here. Unless Foster managed to figure something out. Foster might have. And I'm gonna go looking to see if Foster has, like, any books or something where he was trying to translate what she was saying. Or, like, maybe even Foster taught her this. Investigation. I need either of you if you're gonna further look into this room. Uh, Toto's looking around. I'll, I'll look around. This is actually 
somewhat interesting to me. Hey. Okay. Uh, Toto, you find different things. You find like the you find like a sewing station where it looks like Foster failingly was trying to make a girl's clothing. Uh, <laughs> you find things like that. You see other journals, but they seem to be almost similar writing, but it looks like trying to teach what you can gather, you know, how to uh, write and gab. That's what you get from that. So it's like one one must be that weird language you're looking at, and then it will be written again in gab. So that was her original language. But this is technically a translation thing. This could yeah. help us translate. You get my name is um, food. I'm hungry. Where's the bathroom? Uh, don't don't stop bibliotech. <laughs> 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 That's like the first thing I had to fucking learn. Why is bibliotech the first fucking? I don't understand. Anyway, you must always know where the place of knowledge is. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> But no, it's just uh, simple phrases, which you could, if you comb through it, it you, you get some words now if you're, like, really trying, but not enough to understand what this is. Yeah, I'm just looking for, like, what the letters are and stuff, so that maybe we could start to figure out what she's been trying to say in the journal. Well, it's more like comments, meaning that it's less letters and more symbols that have more specific meanings. Yeah. yeah, I don't speak comments, so this is for Julia. <laughs> so, Julia, speaking of you, you're looking around, and you always had more of a, uh investigative... Uh, oh, I could have used stability on this, anyway. You want to use stability? <laughs> for Isaac? You want to add your ability to it? Uh, I don't remember what it does right off the top of my head. Sure so. as a D4. Sure, it's probably a D6, but I don't care. D4 it, is good. You not have it written down at this point? Bless. <laughs> <laughs> Look, right. I saw something that just said D4, and I was like, sure. Wrong system. Uh, Julia, you... Oh, wait, no, it's a D6. It's Investigator. I see it. Yeah. Sorry, it's this. Okay. Hey. You're looking around, and you eventually... You spot a few things. The first thing you spot is as you're going over to the bed... Uh, you're kind of you're, you're doing the normal spots underneath the bed, underneath the pillow, pulling the bed out of it. You know where people would usually hide their secrets. Uh, and you look at one of the familiar spots, and uh, at like the underneath the bed, there's a loose floorboard. You see, uh, you you flip it open, and you find a small lockbox. <laughs> and I find quartz hiding in there. Wait, what? You find quart hiding right there, <laughs> waiting to strike. Uh, but you find a small lockbox. And then uh, you also find Court, little child screaming, yep. but um, you pull the lockbox out. Ignore the child screaming. <laughs> <laughs> and now you think about it. You're like, okay, there's a lockbox. Where's the key? And with that amazing roll, you turn around. Uh, you think things through. I feel like and... this is the second time I've done this. <laughs> <laughs> you walk over. You examine like the wall of bows and. It seems how they're arranged seems to be a little bit too fancy just to be someone, you know, who are just picking up their bowls. And you pull out one of them, and another plank kind of comes loose from the wall. <laughs> you move it, or a stone, rather, and then you move the stone, and there's a key. So, if I just use this to open the box... <laughs> Julia's <laughs> over here solving an escape room by herself. <laughs> Toto's just like, I found books! <laughs> Look on a shelf. <laughs> Toto has good perception. He doesn't have good investigation. You open it up and you find two letters. Letters. Mm. One of them has a broken. They well, they one of them seems like a very like tattered letter uh, folded up. It looks like it's been through a lot of damage, like some water damage. Been a uh, piece of uh, bits have been burnt up to a crisp. Uh, the other one, though, a very fresh letter, even has a seal on it, and you immediately recognize it with that M. It's the seal of the maker. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh. 
James, why? Uh, well, I'm going to try to handle the one that's been, like, t ripped to shreds nearly. Uh, actually, I probably shouldn't handle that unless I'm, like, in a place that I know I have the equipment to, <laughs> to handle it. Um, well, this one I don't feel comfortable opening here, but I'll hand the, the letter with the seal of the maker to Toto. Oh, fuck. Why... <laughs> Everything is connected back to the fucking school. What'd you guys find there? As you uh, you see Porter um, sort of shove something in his pocket. Ooh, letter! And he tries to like, snatch it from you. <laughs> I hold it out of his fucking reach because I am like a foot taller than him. <laughs> <sighs> we will not open this here, Porter. Porter climbs on you, activates his hovering, and then just gets higher up. Oh, no, no, he's Klein. I give it to I give it to Kotal. And Kotal slithers off with it. As he's about to reach your hand using hovering, you, you give it to Kotal, Kotal slithers down the hand, and he looks at and he's just like it's just, it's just a letter. It's not like you know anyone cares anymore. It's it's a ghost town. Um, get, okay, first, get, get, get down, this is for Saffron, not me, and I put him down. Now- <laughs> Try to put him down, he just stays in the same, he's on eye level with you as he's hovering off the ground. Get, get. <laughs> okay, I give up. Anyway, uh, <laughs> he's kind of right, we could open it here, I don't know if I would feel safe opening it back at the school. No, I wasn't speaking of that one, I meant this letter, I don't feel comfortable. Oh, box! <laughs> that I stopped. will just like <laughs> glare at him. He stops in his tracks. Okay, okay, okay. Because I know that there's something fragile in this box. <laughs> I'm gonna go over to it, but I'm not going to take it or snatch it. I want to see what Julia is talking about. Yeah, you I'll do just... see a tattered letter. It looks like it is very fragile. Water damage has been around for a while. I. I think it would be best if we handled this back at the academy to make sure that we didn't destroy it in our tampering. Yeah, that's a safe bet. Keep it in the lockbox, put it with the painting, we'll grab it on our way back. I might just leave it back under the floorboard. It seems like it would be a safer spot. Good. I just don't want it to get destroyed when we're fighting the water bears. And I'm going to open up the maker letter. Ah. Uh... Uh, da, 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 da. uh hold on for the thing to move through. Okay, that's okay. So dear Foster Steel Arrow. Uh again, this is our last correspondence we'll be sending. The first and last one. We understand you're holding someone uh very unique in your household. You could think and try to quandary how much, how long we've been spying on you and freak out, but that's not our point. There's been also reports that she is either very dangerous or very special, and I believe that this individual would be uh, better sheltered among the academy. So we're extending an invitation to allow her to join us. Uh, I believe she would be better there than whatever's going on in those woods. I suggest you take our offer seriously. And if you form some type of connection with whatever that being may be, I suggest you think very hard about who you're sheltering in your home. Just know, if you're more of the monetary type, you will be compensated if you choose to bring her to us. Sincerely, Leanne, representing the, uh, the esteemed members of the Great Makers Academy. <laughs> Oh. And of course, it gives details of where they can meet. I am pissed at Leanne now. I don't like this letter. 
I don't like this at all. What, what was in the letter? The Maker's Academy wanted to take Kino away from Foster. I mean... Julia will just kind of give an eyeing glance around the town. Yeah, yeah, Porter was like, well, you know, Look, they kind of had a good idea. <laughs> Look, it might have been safer, but this is kind of complete bullshit. I mean, Porter gestures. You realize at this point he's gesturing with some weird object in his hand. I think, like, they had Portal, a good quit point. quit grabbing uh, random shit! What? And I'm going uh, well, to take it from he's him. He's gonna, he, he's fast and he'll just put it, he's talking about, goes behind his back. <laughs> what was that? He puts both his hands up, nothing. Porter. Fine, fine, he unsheathes his dagger, I was playing with my dagger. <laughs> Porter. <laughs> I don't care what you have, if it's, if it's something pertaining to this, though, we might want to see it. Ah, fine, give it back though, and he'll just uh, with a quick play, a quick movement of his hands, he'll produce it again and toss it to you, Julia. Okay, what what the hell has he got? Uh, it seems to be a metal cylinder. Um, probably like, let's see, like uh, what can I compare it to? Um, kind of like similar to like the size of like a hilt of like a, the handles are of like a blade. It's probably hmm. like that size. Um, it has. Um, I understand why he was playing with it now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it even has the ways if it feels like it feels like it's like balanced for something on, to go on both ends. Like there's two openings on either end, uh, and the middle has sort of like again those runic symbols you were looking at earlier. And at the very middle, there seems to be an, an empty hole to hold something, like the size of a gem. He knows uh... gem. This looks like a weapon. Um, well, I guess we're taking that back, too. Should we really be giving all this stuff to the girl who, uh, you know, ghosted away an entire town? I never said we were going to give all of this back to Kino, but this stuff does need to be investigated. You think Kino will, like, sense it with a weird Kino-ness? You're right, but at the same time, if we're going to get more insight into whatever Kino is, these are likely the only clues that we're going to be having. You guys are going to get us killed. I mean, like, you know, she's alright, but she gets really creepy, and, you know, she can just, you know, kill people really easily. Hey, James. Yeah. I'm going to grab onto the weapon, and I want to see the last time it was used. Oh god. Alright. Remember, um, this was just a gardening exam. <laughs> make me a persuasion. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna use my 12, so I have a uh, 22. Okay. Uh, you see... Uh, you see... It is storming out. Uh, you are not in the area. These woods... You're not actually in the wooded area, actually. You're in what looks to be a destroyed city. Uh, you're not sure how long ago this is, but you hear screaming. You see despite the pouring rain, fire still burns. It's actually fire, blue fire burns uh, as you hear this horrific noises of a, like a, a beast. And all you get is a zoomed-in shot of just the hand holding, uh, gripping onto this, uh, this handle. As stemming from either end seems to be this like sort of uh, inner, just purple energy steaming from it. A and lightsaber. They walk, they walk calmly toward it as the screaming uh, gets louder. People are running uh, the opposite direction as this person is running, as walking towards, and that guttural just like growling getting uh, more and more intense until finally there's a ma mighty roar that pushes against uh, the person walking. The camera zooms out a bit, and you see. The object that you're that um, it is in view seems to be that of a scythe made out of just purple uh, magical energy. The figure is cloaked, uh, but it doesn't resemble, it doesn't quite resemble the figure of, uh, of Kino. A bit taller, 
and then when you finally get a look at the uh, face, though similar, older, a lot older. Maybe uh, Kino looks to be like she's in her early 20s. This person looks like they're in their uh, mid-40s, maybe even early 50s. And they look up at the beast, their eyes, uh, this dark purple, this uh, piercing purple, and they simply, uh, with a complete blank expression, swipe at it. And then the beast call, and the beast makes no noise at all. Simply falls to the ground, lifeless. And that's where your vision ends. Yeah, definitely a weapon. I'm I'm going to describe it to Julia and Porta. Well, I want it back. It's cool. It's like a scythe. I can use a scythe. Porter. I don't think you can use it. I mean, like, it's broken now, but if we get it to fix, it'll work, right? I don't know if anybody can wield it except Kino. It's hard to say exactly what it is. I Again, I think it would be easier at the Academy with better resources. Although it is likely a weapon, it's just the properties of such I think would be easily to, more easily discernible under a different light. Yeah, you and Quinn are pretty good at that weird enchanting crap, so... I will say that the, purp the purple of the sight does remind you of Quinn's soul arm. Yeah, I figured it was soul magic at the very least. Oh yeah, Quinn used to have a soul arm. What do you mean, used to? Oh no, Quinn used the darkness now. Yeah. Oh. I thought you were about to tell me Quinn somehow got their arm back. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that was like two seconds ago. Yeah, I remember Quinn, Quinn got his arm back. <laughs> Quinn woke up and he heard a, a sickening popping noise as the arm grew back. Oh god, ah! no! Oh, yeah! James! <laughs> Wait, heard a sickening popping noise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. So, can I have it back? Yeah, just don't lose it. I wonder if I ever lost something. As you give it back, he almost drops it. <laughs> yeah, let me try the letter water uh the the waterlogged one oh god why <laughs> i just want to know what it says okay right. or who it's from at the very least you know i, I can figure it out it's fine I, 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 if toto's approaching it i'm actually going to just kind of like move the box away from him <laughs> hey i'm only going to poke it it's not like i'm picking it up I'm not going to try to destroy it. I... You don't need to try to destroy something like this. Fine. We'll leave it alone for now. So, uh... Should we get going? Uh... We kind of want a time limit here. <clears throat> yes, I yeah. was thinking yeah. the same thing. Let, let's go kill some mortar bears. Uh, time cool. to lock lock box and put it back under bed, but I will keep the key on me. Okay. And you move out. And you continue your adventure. Uh, eventually, as you leave, um, that, you know, that mana starts going away, that, bur that burst of it, and you almost get your breath back a bit. It feels a lot easier to breathe, and you... <sighs> Feel that energy kind of dissipate and go back to that chilling cold of clinging on to your fires. I can't. Can we just stay in there, actually? Jeez. I can't tell if I m miss it or I'm glad to be able to breathe again. Yeah, I'd rather not breathe. I'm chattering constantly. How much further? I yeah. can't be much longer. Hmm. 
and you continue on. It takes you, uh, and the cold hits you even harder as night starts to fall. But that's when you start hearing the rushing water. Oh, thank God. And you are at the river. Okay. Um, how late is it? Uh, it is, the sun's well gone, it's, you're in night now, so it's getting hard for you to see outside your torches, but you can see perfectly fine, barely with your glasses. I can see for like 60 feet or something. Yep. <sighs> okay, um... case uh it would probably be best for us to fight tomorrow right y yeah i can't see shit then we yeah. might as well set up camp then uh, i'll try to get a f f bigger fire going all right you set up camp do you set up a watch yes yeah. <laughs> All right, who goes first watch? Mm. Well, we already can't see shit, so I say Julia gets second shift. I'll get first shift, Porter can have third. Okay. All right. First shift, nothing happens. You sit by the campfire. Second shift... Uh, Soto, make me a perception. No. Okay. <laughs> no, make me do this. <laughs> no. Sh All right, cool. I guess you fail. <laughs> All right. All right. Wait, I thought Julia was second shift. Yeah. Oh, was Julia second shift? Yeah. yeah. I bet. Sorry, Julia. Because it's the darkest one she has night vision. I still want. I was still want to make your perception, but Julia has the. Oh boy, perception! I'm so good at perception. Did you eh. use both of his dice? No. Uh, not yet. I still have time to use it though. All right, Soto. You're dreaming. And you're dreaming of that same scene playing again of everyone dead at the academy no and lorben saying that exact same line as he stabs into you and actually it forces you awake as you see uh you kind of you're not really awake enough for julia to know that you just open your eyes um freeing yourself of that nightmare as julia is watching and you notice something you see uh, this weird blue, like film, like like film, like material, gloss over Julia's body. This isn't good. <laughs> no, it's not. And it eventually, when it it's kind of splits from Julia, you see a hand raise, uh, to go pick up. A log and like uh, let's pick up a piece of wood near Julia and then it makes like a sexual image of that log wood and throws it into the fire. A second later, Julia picks up a piece of wood, throws it on the fire to keep it going. Oh no! No! no. <laughs> you see more things like this, almost like uh, Julia is mimicking whatever this sexual thing is on top of her. Wait, it does that work? work? <laughs> what? <laughs> Whenever uh, Julia would scratch or move her, uh, whatever, like, the, the image moves her, their head or scratches, Julia follows not too far behind. Uh, but what gets you is that in a moment, something grabs the, the, some of the spectral Julia and drags it into the woods. <laughs> uh, Julia? You have, but you can roll it flat. Cool. 
Dexterity saving throw. Let's go. Oh. Uh, I'm going to coin. Fair, fair. Uh, isn't it the other way around? Shouldn't it be zero at least? If I, yeah, let's give it, yeah, favor is still. I'm a little All dumb. Right. <laughs> You're funny. It's all right. I might argue that I should have had disadvantage anyways. No. That you kind of jump to attention. More of, or more of. No, I, I, I mean something different, but it's fine. Oh. What you, what are you arguing? I, I'm, I'm, I'm about to read it more for myself. I don't know if Toto would have been able to see that. Yeah, um, I don't think it, I don't think Toto would be able to see that. See what? Unless I'm unless I'm interpreting something different. See what do you explain to me? What see what? If, if it was Pathfinder's what? present. <laughs> oh, why not? The stipulation in Pathfinder's present: this feat does not work on creatures that have the Fate Fighter feat. This is true. Yeah. Yeah, but Toto isn't using it on you per se. Fair, that's fair. So, yeah, Toto isn't using it to actively, like, fight you right now. Okay. Which would trigger that whole Toto can't predict your movements. Gotcha. But you're kind of doing very mundane stuff right now. Yeah, no, it's fair. <laughs> Not to the point where you're fighting or anything. But yeah, uh, what happens is... What happens is that you say you you call for Julia's name. Julia jumps to attention, not uh, expecting Toto to do that. In that moment, that heightened sense, Julia, f almost like a, a sixth sense, feels something going for her. Tries to dodge out of the way of it, but, you know, didn't see it coming at all. And then you see just, like, sort of this tentacle of water grab onto Julia, as you just saw Toto with that special image, and drag her. <laughs> it, Porter, I'm going to grab my bow and start after. Uh. <laughs> and I need... All of you, actually, as I move the thing, as Julia, you get dragged off, and you you get dragged through the dirt. You're near the river because you're waiting. So you get dragged off uh, through the dirt, and then as you uh, try to turn quickly, you're prone, but you turn to face whoever did this to you, and you see a creature um, sort of give like a, uh, like a, a little bit of a roar. It's a small little cub. It looks like completely drenched in water. Ah, yes. Brown cub. We found them. And you see, like, us. sort of, <laughs> and you see this sort of, no. like, these. I think uh, this might happen. <laughs> weird veins of water go across his body, pulsating as it just looks at you. And with that roar, the water around the river starts to bubble up, and it looks like it's getting ready to fight. Well, I can't say this is ideal, but. Oh my god, it's Brother Bear! <laughs> <laughs> Why? Fucking love Brother Bear. I if love Brother Bear. Anyone who's watching this hasn't seen Brother Bear. You gotta go watch it. Brother Bear is like the best. Brother Bear is so good. Brother I hope Brother Bear wins the combo. Uh, it's a Disney. It's a Pixar movie. Disney. It's, it's a Disney. Disney. It's Disney. It's a Disney it's movie like, about it's, it's... a guy who turns into a bear. Is the why simplest. is Sully here? Yeah, why is Sully there? Oh, Sully's dead. <laughs> Maybe. James thought they'd take <laughs> I'm so fucking happy right now. Alright, uh, we're gonna be in a- you guys are uh, in a surprise round, but all of you me initiative. Well, sorry, uh, Toto's- uh, sorry, Porter's in a surprise round, Cold is in a surprise round, Toto and Julia are fine. Yeah, cause Kotal isn't a Pathfinder. Total real quick. Wait, why did I nat on initiative? I don't know. Because you rolled a nat 20. I don't know what you want. Yeah. Do. Oh shit, I was supposed to give the bear a fucking three, <laughs> damn it. That I mean, the bear's going last anyways. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to give the bear a fucking three. Alright. With that... Actually, what I'm going to do... Uh, oh. So, sorry, just another little flavor of what happens is that when the uh, when the bear does that and it sort of makes that roar, Julia, the water bubbles up and just, sw like, swooshes around it, 
and it creates almost like a like a weird like a giant bear made out of water. It's like it, it absorbs itself into it. So now you're fighting. So now it's much bigger as it has like this little water hide around it. I makes see. It... <laughs> okay, so then I'm gonna go to my next one. Yeah, and it is sort of like it's not that the bear the bear is sort of submerged in this water, but it makes it sort of this larger like watery type elemental creature. Hmm. Yep. Okay. All right, Teta. Give me a second. I'm. You're also I'm... prone right now. He's now father bear. Father bear. <sighs> All right. Oh fuck! It's huge. Okay. This oh, is this is fun times now. I get up at least. You know, I've got my bow now. How far can I see? Uh. can see from how big this fire is. Alright, do I have the funny fire. Pathfinder thing activated? Which Pathfinder thing? At present? Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> that, <laughs> see, I was struggling to... Get, okay, so, um, that means instead, I'm gonna use the funny... the, the new funny magic thing, because I don't know what that... So we're gonna use present, the funny yeah, magic yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah, no. All right, time to use the funny magic bow. Does that allow me? Okay, so that basically allows me to um, use my charisma to hit and damage, or just Rebel. to damage. Rebel, what is it? Sorry, what? What is the bow? Oh, do? yeah, it's um, it adds your charisma to your attack roll and to your damage. So you'll be using your dex and your charisma. Okay. Um, however, it's Every time you activate it, it, so it's a bonus action to activate, and it lasts until the end of your next turn, and every time you activate it, it will take a die from your health pool. So it doesn't deal damage, it's just when you take a short rest, you can't use that die. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Uh, and it's just to attack, or both attack and damage? Attack and damage. It's essentially, okay. you're using your charisma, except you're also using your dex. Let me add the global damage modifier real quick. Um, Jim can correct me if that was wrong on any of the parts. I was just about off the top of my memory. I don't have it pulled up right now, but... Alright, so I'm going to use double shot, and I'm going to use one of my health dice to try this new funny bow. Oh boy. So, uh, sorry, you missed one bit. It's also playing music while you do so. Oh, beautiful. And we're going to plane on my way. <laughs> I hate you so much. Um We're going to add a um we're doing double shot and disabling shot on this one. Okay. So let's fucking go. You're doing what shot on this? Uh double shot and okay. uh disabling. Okay. You rolled very low. <laughs> but you hit. You see? All right, I'm going to have it roll a three on the con save. Okay. So, so it failed that. now it has disadvantage on its next all attacks or just one. Let me take a look at this again real quick. On all of their attacks until the end of their next turn. Okay. So that is gone, and now I get to roll funny damage. Okay. And uh, I didn't uh, uh, add the d4 for that. Oh, it's my own question. Da, 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 Another da. d4 gets added to that, so two. So okay. eleven. Oh, okay. that was. Thank you, Quinn. I. That's pretty fun. Um. And then we're going to take another shot, but this one is just normal. Okay. Mm. 
Uh, that hits. It takes 11. Okay. And that will God. be my funny turn. Uh, okay. Uh, Porter is stunned. Kodal is stunned. Julia. All right. Let's uh, use an action to stand up. It's, okay. I mean, not, sorry, not action. You, you know what I mean. Yeah, like, use your action if you want. I'm fine uh, I mean, I, I mean, I, you know, I I'm think I, I'm gonna that. not um do I'm that. Just, you know, again, I'm, I'm perfectly fine if you want to do that. Fair, but uh, no, I'm all right. Okay. So then we're gonna go ahead and use uh, we're gonna use a bonus action to bestial shift, and we're also going to throw defensive body on there. Okay. So, that would be 4 MP total. Okay. Can't wait for this to be so fun. Anyways, uh, and uh, because I don't want to just use the entire first turn as prep, um, we'll just uh, use my action to shoot some bone darts. So, oh wait, oh sorry, that plus three does not exist. So I don't think that hits. Uh, no, that's not hit. Yep. Uh, does that one hit? <laughs> uh, that one does hit. All right, cool. Uh, then it will just deal a nice four piercing damage. Awesome. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Rolled minimum Thank damage. Thank you for that. Um, I could use another two. Hmm. I'll, I'll use two mana to take one more shot. You know, why not? Wow! Another minimum damage roll! <laughs> Why? Uh, and then I'll move within five feet of it. Alright. So, when you do that, uh, you kind of, when you hit it, the water bursts and uh, it just spaces and it shrinks back down. Oh. So the water explodes. It looks like the, the it looks like the bear took no damage whatsoever, but you finally burst through that water. Um, is that your turn? Oh well, hang on. I, I, then I'm gonna move towards okay. it again. Cool. I want I want to end my turn within five feet of it. Even oh, and I guess I'll also um. Yeah, I guess I have to take this, don't I? Uh, yeah. Fuck Oof. me. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll do this real quick. So let's take this move anyway. Ow, I'm almost bloodied. <laughs> oh wait, was that like water damage you just took? Yep, and it's vulnerable. Yeah, yeah, I know the vulnerable part. That's because yeah. it's because Jules is not near a fire right now. Yeah, yeah. Have fun, uh, rolling max on those every time. Yeah, seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> I rolled 2d8 right before this and got 1s, and then roll one more d8, get the fucking 8. Ugh. I say if you leave that area, you're gonna need, you're gonna start rolling. Okay, I was like, that's a funny water AoE that's gonna put the fire out. <laughs> Alright, is that your turn, uh, Julia? Yeah, that's my, that's my turn. Okay, the cub is going to uh hmm it's gonna actually move away from you you can take an attack opportunity <coughs> shit oh, sorry wait wait sorry sorry i forgot wait can i do this i can't can i hmm. 
Why do you think it's silly to hurt you? Okay. Uh, yeah, never mind. You can take an attack opportunity. Are you ready for this, James? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm not built for this? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you, that looks are, like you it hits. You don't have your sword out yet. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm also going to use my reaction to, uh, as you, like, take the attack as he's, uh, as the thing running away, water, like, shoots out from the river and starts to slap you. <laughs> I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw. God fucking damn it. Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. I'll be punished. Okay. Uh, you are dazed. <sighs> okay, whatever. Honestly, that's better than taking damage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's gonna go in here, then it's gonna use its action. Uh, to sort of, like, it just sort of dicks, it, it, like, dips its, like, claws in the water, and, like, the water rushes back around it. And here we are. <laughs> and then, to end its turn, it's going to use its bonus action to sort of, like, the, like, the, the hide around, like, this watery, like, form around it, like, a, a bit of water rushes out like a tentacle and slaps at you again, see if it hits. It has this is an attack. Yes, it's an attack. It's at disadvantage. It's at disadvantage, and it has to add, subtract. Um, subtract the three, three from the attack roll. Okay, what's your AC right now? Twenty-one. Okay. Uh, what am I? Actually, I don't have any coins to do it. Okay. No. All right. Because of that, it will miss. Oh, uh, and then that will be its turn. Oh, actually, was it flat? No. Huh? I forget what Daze no. does. Was it a flat? Okay, it wasn't flat. All right. It just makes you sad. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's what I thought. All right. And that will be uh, Fisher Cup's turn. Toto. Oh, yay. We get to do the fun stuff again. So we're loading up another uh, disabling double shot. Uh, but we're not using the funny music bow this time. Okay. So let's well, it's still go. on until the end of your next turn, so you still have it again. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So add four to that. Okay. Uh, you roll so bad. But it's a twenty uh, with the if you add four to it. Yeah, you still hit. It. Yay! Uh, so let me turn. And that also has a plus four to it. So 14 damage. Okay. Uh, I had to have it roll a con save. Okay. DT 15. Pass. Coin it. Okay. <laughs> this thing probably has a good con. Pass. All right. So I will load up another... But this time I'll add my natural charisma thing if it's still on into the end of my next turn. Um, It'll be through the end of this turn, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and this one will also be another disabling, because we're going to try to keep damage down here. Okay. But I keep rolling like shit. Was that a 17? Oh, that's no, just a, that's, that's just, just a 13. 13. Okay. okay, you miss. Yeah, because I roll like shit. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's my fucking turn. Okay. Uh, Porter's gonna. Okay. All right. I'm up. I'm up. And he's gonna get up from being prone. So he's only at thirty feet in his next sad days. Um, <laughs> and make it anyways. <laughs> uh, let's see. He's going to. Can you just make it? Can you bonus action dash? Or anything? He's gonna go here, hovering. And he's gonna bonus action dash, get here, and then he's going to. And she's chucking it up with the. Uh. Yeah, he's gonna just do some. He's gonna do some wild attacks. He's gonna pull out his sickle, and 
his dagger. And he still has a, oh yeah, he has a plus one sickle. I forgot he had that. So we'll open up with the dagger. That's going to hit. He's going to deal seven points of damage. I don't think he has anything with advantages. So it's not playing. He doesn't have disadvantage, so none of that applies. And then he's going to do a second attack with the dagger. That's going to hit. He's going to activate Expert Strike. Um, so he's going to make an athletic, uh, Acrobatics. He's going to do... He's going to do Vicious Flare on this. So let's take that Acrobatics. Okay, and what is it? It's 18 plus their... I think it's their Dex or Strength. Yeah, let's see what this guy's dex or strength is. Okay. Okay, he passes. So this one's going to be a d12 plus his dex. Which uh, quarter is a plus 5 to his dex. Okay. So that is going to be 19 points of damage so far. Down, 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 down. And with that, the water is going to actually burst again. You stupid fucking bear. <laughs> All right. And with that, uh, Porter is going to... He has 10 feet of movement left. So he's actually going to go here. And he's going to... Uh, that was cool. Actually, no, he can't do that. Ah, he's screwed, actually, because he can't often attack. All right. <laughs> he makes his two attacks. He's going to move there. And he didn't his bonus action because he can't offhand attack anymore. Yep. Uh, uh, so I guess it's time for him to take damage. <laughs> yeah. Well, technically it won't be until the start of his next turn because that's a round. Oh, it's start of next turn. Yeah, it's it's six seconds without fire. You were right because you were you were uh you started off without anything. Okay. Porter woke up in the fire. Okay, so it's if you start your turn. Yeah, basically. You start your turn without it, you're going to take damage. Okay. You would just start off without it, so you can go take some damage automatically. I mean, it's it's fine. Uh, yeah, I think he can do the second thing with that, too. Okay, so he's going to end his turn there, then. I should have used the bonus action. Never mind, I couldn't do it either way. I forgot he bonus action dashed. That yeah, he bonus action dashed, yeah. Okay. So that's going to be his turn. Coldal. Yeah, that, that's what I thought you meant. But he couldn't do anything because he bonus action dashed. Yeah. No, I forgot okay. that he forgot he dashed. So you're almost bloodied too, Leah? Yes, because I took sixteen fucking points of damage from okay, existing. 15, 15, 20, 25, 30. So Kotal is going to attack you real quick. You're gonna lower your defenses or are you just actually gonna attack? I'm gonna fucking lower my defenses because um otherwise. Kotal is essentially trying to hit a 21 AC, and also, since it's a melee attack, it would, um... <laughs> okay. That would hit, but, you know. Uh, no, um, yeah, yeah, it would hit. Yeah, that, that wouldn't have not hit. Heals for seven. That wouldn't have crit, so there was no point. Seven, all right, that's, that's good. I'll lose all that in, you know, half a second, but that's good. Look, oh, wait, sorry, I, uh... Cutting away, I forgot this ability. Porter's actually gonna when, he, when he's, like, he's stepping in the river at this point, and he's getting ready to fight. But then the river kind of like bubbles up and tries to lash out at Porter. He's gonna make me a strength save real quick. Oh, uh, Porter is now grappled by the water. Uh oh. Okay. Well, rest in peace, Porter. <laughs> All right. Uh, was that Kotal's turn? Uh, yes, that is Kotal's okay. turn. Julia, roll me that, uh, cold. Yep. Okay, that's, I mean, I, I, yeah, I didn't lose all of it then. Uh, 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 Toto, can you bring some fire over here? Yep, I'm on it. <laughs> all right. Cool. Well, let's, uh...
Can I flank with a grappled person? Uh, no. Cool, no. so there is no reason for me to go into the water. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a no. If it's a no, there is literally no reason to put myself in more danger by going into the water. I would assume no. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a no if it is, I'm just curious. Yo, you go ahead. Yeah. Uh... Alright. Well, then we're gonna move over here. And bonus action, summon the Bone Forged. Okay. Yay! We're just gonna do a regular summon because it works differently now because I don't have to concentrate on it. Okay. <laughs> it just lasts for actually where, where does it say that one plus your whatever modifier okay that's what I thought it's just huh you can't find it yeah on my thing weird anyways yeah so uh, it's, it'll last for four rounds which is why fine. are you saying no if it's <laughs> um and we'll also add in, add on, um, wait, what? It's 2 plus oh, shift modifier. modifier. Okay. Oh, it's 2 plus shift? Okay, so it lasts for 3 rounds. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, and we'll add a plus 3 to it with Master Former. Okay. Um, so yeah. I'll spend 4 MP on that as my bonus action. Another 1 MP to maintain. Bestial shift. And let's go in for the attacks. Okay. Am I at disadvantage? Uh, Yes, it's still in your turn. Cool, cool. Just my days right now. Okay, that's going to... Actually... That, mi that hits, actually. That hits. Okay, I was about to say, like, holy shit. Wow, I, I actually missed, didn't I? Yeah! Fuck off, stupid bear. Alright. Is that your turn? Or no, you I have another attack. Go for it. Jesus. You literally hit as long as you don't crit fail. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware. Got it. Another 9 damage. And lastly, because we'll spend 2 mana to get this attack. That hits. There we go, 15 damage. Okay. Got it. Alright, is that your turn? Yep. Okay, it's very bloody. Um, but on its turn, it's sort of just like, as it makes a roar of pain, it's like a whimper of pain, the water sort of rushes around it, and it starts cause he like closing up the wounds. Oh, fucking damn it. <laughs> can oh, heal uh, itself. Can you son of a bitch. Breathing for Coda. Sorry, <laughs> but we need to kill you to live. Alright. Just gonna heal for that mount. Alright. And then what's gonna do is that when all that happens, it's actually gonna like uh, make another mighty roar towards you in defiance, and there's gonna be a rush of water. Uh. Oh, I'm not dazed anymore. Yeah, that's true. You're not dazed anymore. I'm only saying that because I'm pretty sure daze affects some saving throws. Affects dex. It's like dex disadvantage, attack disadvantage, and like half movement. Which dex is half okay, the fucking so saving it's going to really actually need to read this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's actually going to, yeah, it's going to, uh, roar and that mighty water just sort of pushes you and it, like it swirls around and it causes you and Cold to switch places. Okay. And then also it's going to retreat further in the water after doing that and it disengages with doing that. Ah, okay. So unless, and then after do <laughs> unless Porter yeah. or Porter Kotal has like the the Sentinel feed or whatever the equivalent is. 
And at this point, the water is pretty deep, so it's actually swimming. Uh, and it's going to start attacking. And it's going to make two. Uh, it's going to make, yeah, two attacks at Porter. Oof. Is Porter it's still grappled? Hit. Uh, yes. Damn. Porter is... Porter's grapple until his turn comes up again. Oh, okay, cool. So, the first attack hits. Okay, uh, Kotal is going to use her reaction to switch places with Porter and take the hit instead. Okay. Wait, is it switch places or just take the hit? Uh, sw I actually got the one that switches places. It's called Guardian okay. Lunge. <laughs> Kotal is just, like, swapped is Kotal, places around. I forgot. Was Kotal diseased? I forget if I no, thought he was. she is not. That's why she's the one taking this. Okay, you take five water. And the second one's going to attack and go off. It's still going to... We'll move five feet forward. And it's going to attack Porter again. It's going to hit. And that's going to be 24 points after double to Porter. So that means Porter. Porter's not unbroken. Yeah, he's close. And then he's going to do a third um, attack at Porter. Also, I need. Uh, actually, never mind. Never mind. Ignore me. Are you ready for him to skip the hit point threshold? Because he's going to hit Porter again. Right here. 16 points of damage to Porter. Is he up? <laughs> uh, he's up. Holy he shit. Is, he's oh. in the first tier of unbroken now. <laughs> oh! It finally happened. <laughs> but, you know, just keep in mind, he is, has to roll a d8 in the start of his turn. <laughs> uh, I hope he goes down. <laughs> he rolls, he takes over 16 damage. Grab fire. And then it's going to move back here. And that's going to be its turn. Toto. Okay, so Toto is going to put away his bow, okay. grab some fire. Okay, that's going to be an action. Bow. Yeah, I can't use my bow for that. Uh, like, mm -hmm. if I'm holding the fire. And then I'm going to bring it close to them. So 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, uh, I'm, yeah, Porter is like five feet out of it. <laughs> He's too far away to get that, to get the, enough warm for it right now. But Julia's fine, though. Yay! Yeah, I'll do this to represent it. You could, just you could just give Toto a five, a little five foot. I did. Oh, okay. I can't see it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you can't see oh, it. Right, I forgot about that. Yeah, you own my character sheet. Setting. Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh well, it's fine. I we we understand. Five feet of Toto. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So with that, that yeah, was your action total. Yeah, you have bonus action left. You do anything? Um, I don't have anything for a bonus action. Okay. Porter is going to take some damage. So it's one d eight, right? Yep, one d eight. Eight, eight. Oh, just two. Right. Two. Uh, he's in. He's not in tier two yet of unbroken. <coughs> okay. Let me actually read unbroken. It's been a while. Yeah, D4 do a damage cycle when you're half your current maximum HP. Whenever you are at least three or more hostile creep, that doesn't matter right now. When you're at a quarter, it's like plus two AC. Yeah. Okay, so he's just at a D4 to his stuff now. Oh, uh, when you are done, whenever you bring your blah, blah, blah. Okay. So. Porter is going to... Huh. Okay, uh, I think that thing's close to going down. Um, if I die, I uh, went out cool, right? And he's going to rush forward, hovering over the water. So he's not touching the water now. He's learned his lesson. He's going to hover above the water. And he's going to unleash some attacks on this thing. So he's going to attack one attack with his dagger. He's going to hit. He's going to deal... Uh, some damage, and then when he does that, he's gonna have to make me a dexterity saving throw. Uh, real quick, did 
Does he get the second D four? Oh wait, is it? Or or, or was oh wait oh was it to his attacks? Nah, it's oh, damage roll. You're right. You're okay, right. Cool. I didn't click on it. Yeah, you did the roll. Woo! Okay. Ten. Cool, cool. Uh, got it. And with that, the thing looks like it's very hurt. Uh, it's going to toy. He's going to take a dexterity saving throw. Eh. Oh no, is he dazed? No. <laughs> he passed. He's good, so he's going to make a second attack. Jeez. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and coin that. Why you don't want to roll 44? <laughs> All right. That still hits though. You don't want to be reminded of the abomination that was Maul. Yeah, but that's on a crit. That's on a crit versus a regular attack. Still. And he's going to then bonus action with his sickle, make another attack, and then activate the force of the ability. That's going to hit. Okay. All right. In with that, uh, Porter goes and he sort of uh, guts the uh, he kind of guts into the thing and it just makes him like and then it like uh, falls and starts sinking into the water. <laughs> Shit. And then with that, uh, the it's in, in like sort of a final cry, the water sort of just erupts up and then swallows Porter. Ah, oh, he's dead. Fuck. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh oh. Fuck. <laughs> now y'all get to play the fishing minigame. And James, when we said we wanted fishing, we did not mean that we had to fish out fucking border. Kodal? Are you kidding me? Kodal is diving into the fucking water after him. Do 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 do. Okay, so she Wait, gets into the water. What the fuck's a water? D8? <laughs> <laughs> you right, already right, took cool. his D8, didn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he didn't take damage from that explosion. Oh, uh, oh that makes more sense. <laughs> um, okay, James. So when she gets into the water, does she see them? Uh. Uh. Can snakes see underwater? Some can. I'm gonna say no then, which this you are answering some. Beast. Yeah, we're gonna right. say no. You cannot see them because they're rushing so water. So she's gonna. Okay, which direction is the water flowing? Uh. Hold on. Because this is gonna be very important. That way. Which way? You not see my. You not see the arrow? No. no. What? Oh, that's why I'm on the wrong layer. This one. Okay. Okay, so she's gonna go here. Here. We're gonna move about right All there. Right. And okay. then I'm going to use four mana. Okay. And if Porter is within 30 feet of her, he gets... Is this just everything? Five temporary health. It's allies. No, it's allies. Okay. It's also the tenth health, so it wouldn't bring him back. It wouldn't bring the thing back to life. No. She doesn't know if he's down or not. That's the best I can do. Uh. Okay. How deep does? Uh, are, you, are you like how deep underwater are you? Uh, she's probably I mean, about five, ten feet. I mean, also, 30, 30 feet should hopefully oh, cover the entire depth yeah, of this. Yeah, like thirty feet should hopefully cover the. No, I'm actually go to swim. Uh, I mean, I would assume so, like a normal person. Well, yeah, like, but you don't have, have a swim speed. speed. You have, you're going at half movement, so you have to keep that in mind. Okay, Unless so she was right here. Let the current take her. So 5, 10, 15. Okay, so she could get, like, here, going at half speed. Okay. 
I just wanted to make sure you're being accurate. Okay, cool. You're so you are five feet above. The, you're basically just uh, Cole is still above the water swimming. Okay. All right, Julia. Well, uh, I feel like if I leave this, I'm gonna take damage, aren't I? Uh, no. If you leave it, you'll be fine until the start of your next turn. Okay, cool. Because I do need to leave it. Um, mm -hmm. so we're gonna go ahead and spend two mana real quick. To uh. Well, sorry, we're going to drop my uh, Bestial Shift and then spend two mana to activate Ariel. Okay. And, uh, yeah, let's uh, try and get a bit of a view here. You know, 25 feet over here. Okay. Can I see anything right now? <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you have uh, your glasses. So you're hovering above the water, just to clarify. Yeah, but my glasses, they don't let me see through things it's just like yeah, you know you don't dark, the darkness right won't impale it won't impede me yeah. at the very least you can see that porter you can see like porter sinking uh around this area right here all right well it's been fun <laughs> um let's fucking move 10 feet and do a perform a nice fucking dive. Okay. Because Lord knows that I keep having to jump into fucking freezing cold water to <laughs> save my allies. <laughs> oh no, I'm having flashbacks. I forgot about that until you fucking brought it up. Why Hold would on. you bring up these memories? Hold on. I have to go away forever. Hold my hand. Ooh, baby. It's all oh. the way down. Oh, I wasn't even already thinking about that when you fell in. It's like, damn, again, all over again. I didn't even think of Mossy. <laughs> what are you thinking of? You Kino. Oh, Kino, yeah. Kino. <laughs> and that was Quinn's fault, though. No, I don't care. Fault. I'm trying to load up my funny fishing game, and it's refusing to work. Oh, it's almost like oh, sad life. All right, you dive in. So you just like, are you just dropping then? I am, yeah, my, my, like, I'm just gonna fucking stop flying and drop as far as I can. Don't you wish you had aquatic shift? Uh, you drop, and I'll say you get about 10 feet deep. Okay. And you see Porter is about 15, so he's, like, 5 feet away from you, and he's, like, he is being dragged by the current. Alright, well, uh... He, he's, a, you can see, because you can see clearly on the water, he is, like, trying to get control over himself, but the water is, like, it's, like, almost like a death grip. The water's like clinging onto him and the bear and dragging him further in. Mm. Fuck, 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 fuck. Um. Wait, how how close are they to me? Uh, five feet with uh away from you. How does this work? Blood explosion. No. Um. But I will tell you that Porter is on tier two of Unbroken. <laughs> oh, this also doesn't help. Yeah, because the river is forci forcible movement, right? <laughs> uh, uh, this is true. Yes. Wow. That. That. Huh. Well, all right. <laughs> Bone cradles off the table. <laughs> that doesn't uh, help me. You, are you out of movement? Oh yeah, you don't have enough movement to move, do you? Uh, it's, if I have movement, it's like five feet. I can probably get to him, but like, mm -hmm. I mean, I'll get to him and I'll try to grab him. It's not going to work though because I have action? zero. Yeah, I do. Okay. I, I've used only my bonus action to get this far. All right, make me athletics. Athletics, yep. Woo, athletics, let's go. Eh. Oh, fuck. Okay. You grab on the porter, and the porter has is grabbing onto this cub. Uh, and you, I'm guessing you can't do anything else, right? Uh, this was my action, right? Yes. So no, I can't. Okay. Uh, so, Toto, you see people have dived underwater. Yeah? This is... 
This is not good, guys. Um, fuck. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love my series. <laughs> Hey, and not Fee. This is Faye. <laughs> <laughs> Faye. See, you all's names are too close. I hate you. Anyway. I didn't um, make Fee. <laughs> no, you didn't, Either. James. Why would you name him so close to fucking it was Faye? Funny. Because <laughs> they're both funny swordsmen. Uh, they can't see or hear me at this point, so I can't do anything to try to do that. Down in the morning, baby. You can jump in after them, though. I have to keep the fire going, so that when they come out, they don't take fucking damage. You can just keep. You can just keep the torch on the floor. I could just put it on the floor. You could just ignite a bush. Yeah, you can start, start a bush fire. Quick. Yeah. Yeah, let's start a forest fire. We'll be fine then, you know. You will be fine. Nature hey, so be. will everyone else. <laughs> you can you can save everyone in the exam. <laughs> There's a forest fire, no one has to worry about, like, the damage. Sorry, I'll be right back. Toto. I don't know, Toto can't fucking swim, I feel like. Oh. <laughs> I, I can't believe Carrot's not being able to swim. Uh, James, my Sonic? athletics and my acrobatics are fucking bullshit. <laughs> they suck. Yeah, Alright. Even Quinn can swim. Not Ooh, well. We sh See, exactly. Like, we can, can swim, swim, but not fucking well. No, you said you can't swim. Yeah, that's a difference there. Yeah, those are two very different things. Quinn that's a mechanical took swimming disadvantage. lessons as a child. <laughs> what are you doing, Toto? Hold my hand. Oh, baby, okay, so way. if I change Kotal, she gains the mannerisms and stuff, but if I change her into something that can swim, can she have a swim speed? No. Damn. It's, it's not mechanically Sad changing days. them. Sad days. Alright, then yeah, all I can do is wait for them up here. Okay, so you're gonna stay there? Yeah, I'm gonna stay here with the fire. <laughs> I'm just saying, I would've jumped in. You know what? Hold up here. All right, all right. Let's let's just let, like let's that play rebel a was funny game. Killed me, <laughs> No, he does not jump in. Okay. <laughs> It'd be really funny if I coined that. <laughs> <laughs> Ian is still a player in this session. Oh yeah. All right, we've coined. Roll, re roll, Toto. There we go. There yeah, we go. He, he he puts down the torch and jumps into the water. He uses his bonus act. He uses his action to. Pew! It's not your action. You can just drop the torch. No, <laughs> I mean I have to dash. Oh, you're have dashing. Have fun with that content, baby. Oh God. Oh. Uh, all right, Toto, you're in the water. <laughs> I take a dive because I still have movement. Okay, remember it's double. So how far into water are you going? Um, okay, so I was right here, so 5, 10. I can go 20 feet down if I wanted to. Okay, um, Toto is a, literally a, a hippie, so I'm pretty sure Toto learned to open up his eyes in the water. So can, Toto can see Julia and Porter. Then I swim towards them. Okay. It's Coral like thinks 10 we're feet all dumbasses. Alright, you're 10 feet down. Uh, you don't have an action to grab them, though. No, I don't, but I can be here just in case. Okay. That's what the wisdom save was for, Toto realizing he can't do shit. <laughs> but I feel better in this situation. Uh, I'm feel a little sad, so I can play as everyone does. <laughs> hey. Not everybody. Right. Kotal still has her turn. Uh, the air's on my way. Okay, so. Porter's Kotal. gonna make me a roll. Kotal still has her turn, you know? It's okay, am I Porter's holding on to the Porter. unconscious body? Porter's before you, I just have him on a different layer. Porter has a 23 initiative. Yeah. Rip. So move move Kotal back. <laughs> it's not Kotal's turn yet. Alright. Bet. Uh, Porter's down. 
All right, cool. I hold on to Porter's uncon. Oh, even with the temp HP. Oh, he had temp HP. Hold on. He had five temp HP. I, I, that, that just ruined his temp HP. That got rid of his temp. Wow. Well, no, his member it's doubled. Yeah, he's got vulnerable. Porter has three elf left. All his right. temp HP helped. Oh, it did. <laughs> <laughs> Porter is gonna use his action to try to break free of this water, watery grave. Okay, and uh, he breaks free of it, and uh, he's gonna just uh, he actually. How would that work? Yeah, that wouldn't change anything. Okay, uh, he's gonna just uh, use. He's gonna just start swimming. Actually, he can just swim. He's going, <laughs> he's going to swim, uh, so 20 feet to get up, sorry, 30 feet to get up to the top of the surface. Does he still have the cub? He says cub. Good. Uh, so 30 feet to get to the top. And then he's going to move, what is this? 10, 20, 10, 20, another 30. So he can get out here. So he'll get out, and the fire is right here, actually. The fire is where he's at. So he gets to the fire, dripping wet. So he's still, he's still probably going to take damage. He's dripping wet. But <laughs> he gets out, and he's just going to pass out on the ground, shaking violently. <laughs> get out! Get out! <laughs> Total. Total swims back to Porter. And she's going to uh, use two of my mana to heal him. Okay. Do, 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 do. Let's heal Porter. Okay. For seven. At least she's consistent. Okay. Porter is back up to ten health. By the way, Porter's still going to take damage even with that torch because he's soaking wet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, um, understandable. We're all taking Julia. damage for a while. Julia. That's great. All right. Let's start it off with important. Ooh. Ooh. Is that down for you? No. No, it's not down, but ow. <laughs> Ooh, you can yeah, you can start flying once you uh, once I get once out. Break water. Yeah, I know. So uh, how I'm ten feet down. Yeah, you're ten feet down right now. Okay, so I have to use twenty of my speed, which means that since I've started using move speed, I can only move a maximum of twenty afterwards, right? Or can I go up to twenty five? Your high speed. Just it's my high speed? speed. Okay, cool. So I can I can move thirty feet once I get up. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I would like to resurface so I have my my token back, please. Just make sure whatever your move, movement your movement just has to equal your highest speed. Okay, then I then I will have then I'll have thirty. Thirty after this. All right, bye Toto. I'm I'm leaving. <laughs> bye Toto. Uh, it is time to fly over to Bear. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. Um, I've got an action. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, is grabbing the bear an action? No, it's dead. Cool. I'm going to grab the bear and then use my bonus action to um move to the warmer fire okay bonus action dash to the warmer fire okay is that your turn um yes. uh You're you yes <laughs> I, well there's something i want to start doing but also at the same time no i don't want to start doing that Oh, I know what you're thinking, because Porter's about to do in his turn. All right, Toto. <laughs> Toto swims back up. Toto has no shame. Uh, Porter has no shame. <laughs> yeah, I'm well aware. Porter survives. Actually, he will. Yeah, he will. All right. Or maybe not. He can roll that. Uh, okay, swim back. 
so I can get like there and get on to at least the shore. Okay. Porter doesn't need to roll max to to die. To go down. Yeah, he needs to roll five or higher. Yeah. He needs to roll like above average. And roll your D eight to uh Dakota. You see you're you're cold. Yeah. Are you scared? <laughs> Shut up! You're on full well, fucking health. Take damage. Yeah. I'm at full health. <laughs> 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 All right, is that your turn? Are you also running? I'm down to twenty four hit points. I am almost bloodied from that alone. Oh boo hoo! Um, <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna. Uh, can... uh. I, I can't grab Porter, or else I would, um, to get him towards the warmer fire. Can I grab him, or is that an action? That'll be an action. Damn. Porter is not dead, so he is not an item in our action. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Julia, though, that's an item in her action. She wants yeah. To yeah. So I'll go there, and that'll be the end of my turn. All right. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, James. What? Porter's down. What? Are you... Yeah. <laughs> Porter's unconscious. Right. What? What do you want? What do you want from me? He took twelve damage. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Let me do this to you. <laughs> I literally Porter's my baby. Colo. Colo grabs Porter and goes to the fucking big fire. You're not I mean, gonna heal him? I want to get him close to this fire, and then I'll heal him. Okay. Um. Guys, she moves out of 45. She's fine. I'm... Yeah, but that was an action to grab him. Yeah. He's unconscious. It's not He's an not an item. He's not an item. He's still a body. He's not dead. Oh, then yeah, she'll... <laughs> she'll heal him. Okay. See, you guys were confusing me with these. The statement was, he's not dead. It's not an item interaction. <laughs> he, yeah, a corpse can be considered an item, but he's still living, so we have to grapple. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It should be grapple either way. It's just that the bear is a cub, so it's tiny. The bear is very small and is she's not She's going to use her special surge to get both Porter and I. So, slash okay. roll. Six... The next person to take water damage gets an eight. <laughs> oh, that's Julia. Fuck. Oh, that's funnier too. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Poor See, she's consistent. What the fuck? Porter's back up again. <laughs> At five health. Oh god. Porter's gonna go down again next turn. <laughs> well, at least he's up. It's okay. The clock's resetting. All right. Julia, I need that D8. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. I swear to god, if it's another fucking 8. Yeah! I'm down. Why? That's funny. So no. Oh, right, I have to keep, I, hang on, I have to keep track of negatives. It's not very far negative, but I have to keep track of negatives. Oh, you better be an 8. I want to see. Yeah, maybe that DA. I want to see how long before uh, for for Wolf realizes what what they need to do. <laughs> Roll DA to avoid dying. All right, ten damage. Are you down? No. Toto hasn't taken damage this combat. Toto's like okay. the only one of us who's looking okay. He was been fire the entire time too. Yeah, yeah. I'm right. Toto is fine. fine. Take a turn. I mean, as fine as being bloodied is, but. Go ahead, Toto. What you want to do? I feel stupid now because you guys keep talking about what I should be doing, and I'm like, "What the fuck do you mean?" <laughs> I grab Porter, and we are going. Okay, that's your action. Go. It's also that's as close as I can get. Okay. Bro. <laughs> yes. Can I throw him? No. <laughs> I lost your token. Where did it go? It's uh, it's it's above, like above the right fire. Here. You know, is, is it not there for you? Token disappeared. I don't know where it went. 
funny. There we go. Okay. Is that your turn? Uh, yes. Okay. So let's just play with the knife here. <laughs> Board has a little solo. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Holy oh, shit. Oh, oh. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, uh, I don't care anymore. Uh, to uh, Porter's gonna strip from his wet, cold clothes and go sprinting into the fire. <laughs> into the fire? Oh, as close as he can to it. He's gonna, he takes off, he li literally, as he's running, he just strips from his clothes. He strips down completely naked. <laughs> so you see him just completely bare naked, shaking. Yeah, oh, that's fair. And he's gonna get close to the fire and start shaking it, but he's like, oh, ha, 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 um, uh, Toto, you think Julie would beat me if I was trying to save her? <laughs> you know, let me do it. I have more health than you. I, I feel better than- You're not fast you enough! <laughs> you yes, you know. do it. yes, you know! Just do it! Just do it! <laughs> he's gonna strip I'll make sure Julia. he doesn't kill you. He's gonna strip Julia. <laughs> And that's gonna be his turn. Rebel uh, just burst into fucking laughter. I can hear her across the house. <laughs> <laughs> Are you so, ready for this? Cause Kodal can uh Kodal can go Kodal's heal. Turn. God, I, yeah. I, I I love how I had the action economy to do this myself. Yep. But I knew in character I wouldn't. <laughs> yep. What's your negative? What's your negative? Oh. Oh. Julia hardly and anything. Porter. Both Julia and Porter heal for 12. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, this is funny. So, Julia, you come to, from the, like, you feel the warmth of the healing come to, as you feel uh, your shirt come off, and Porter is uh, naked above you, just, like, completely rages, like, in fear on his face. <laughs> but you don't have to roll. <laughs> Well, that's that's good. Don't kill me! Don't kill me! Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! And he like just closes his eyes. Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! I didn't see anything. I promise. I um. Time to run to my bag and pull out a blanket or something. Yeah, yeah you pull. You have spare clothes. You go to your bag and you quickly pull it out and you put on another shirt. But you're good now. <laughs> All right, and with that, uh, actually, there's one more person. So, uh, Toto, roll. <laughs> I don't think it's possible for Toto to go down with this roll. <laughs> Bad life. All right. Uh, all right. Toto, do you strip? Yeah, Toto okay. strips. Next roll, that... but not this roll. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens is that you all sort of strip off, and uh, Porter quickly runs over to his bag and puts uh, after he's dried a bit, puts on some more clothes. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, at that point, there's just kind of awkwardness as the Porter's just in the complete as far as away from the fire he can be, and away from <laughs> Julia, it just like <laughs> avoiding eye contact. Um, just, we, we could just, you know, for, you know, pretend like this never happened, right? You know. I believe that would be the most preferable option. Cool, cool. Right, Toto. This never happened. We just we fought the bear in a very reasonable fashion. Okay, fully clothed. Fully clothed. No, 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 nothing suspicious. Uh, n nothing that we need. To, anybody needs to ever worry about. Oh. Let's roll for Porter's dicks. I'm sorry. Uh, it's. <laughs> so I don't know if that's impressive because it's a nine, or if it's disappointing because it's on a D. Okay, was that centimeters or was that inches, Ian? <laughs> okay. This was a D100. Okay. I'm going. <laughs> I'm, I, don't, I don't feel happy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. 
generous roll. I would have rolled a d4. <laughs> I bet if I roll a d12, I'll get higher. Ah, it's cringe. It's cringe. God. All right, nine inches. We got it. All right, so. No. Anyways, uh, and that there's a few more minutes of awkwardness as I'm assuming Julia's preparing the, uh, um, yes, but also before that happens, um, I, I would, I would just like to read the expressions of the, of my, of the people around the fire as they fucking are like, oh, no one needs to talk about this shit. Uh, you see, I, I, what does Toto look like after seeing, uh, both Julia and Porter completely naked? He looks traumatized. <laughs> he looks traumatized. Oh yeah, everyone saw all the scars. Woo. Oh yeah, you do have scars all over. So yeah, oh. uh, if you you would see that Julia has scars all over her body. Oh. Toto's avoiding eye contact with Julia, but he does look a little bit more concerned. Now he looks concerned. Like, you brought that. Yeah, no, he's avoiding eye contact with Julia, but he looks concerned. Uh, same expression from Porter. He's just kind of just avoiding looking at you. The scars weren't a total lie, anyways. Oh. That's I'm fine. guessing you. Don't want to talk about where they came from. You're not like a you know crazy monstrous killer like uh, half our team, right? No, no, it's nothing of that sort. <sighs> Sorry, let's just get to. Like I said, what scars? What naked bodies? It didn't happen. Nobody saw a thing. Right. Time to. God, I, I should have just. I should just use that enchantment. Quinn, Quinn, Quinn cuffed me. What do you mean, Quinn cuffed you? I was gonna do like this little powder thing that made things really warm, and I wish I did that now for the cloak. Oh, I'm gonna kill Quinn. <laughs> God, that would have made things a lot better. Guys, I'm going to murder Quinn. Guys, stop. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're never letting this go. <laughs> Who in their right mind would have let would have let a porter do that? Look, <laughs> we're not thinking rationally. Food. All of us are freezing our asses off. <laughs> and had to watch each other strip down naked to survive. <laughs> Anyways, right. time to start alchemy. Yep, so you prepare the ingredients, so it's gonna be is... What's the... what's that ingredient? Let me look at it. Alchemy... Special powder, special powder... Uh, it's a plus 12, okay. So, uh, you're simply just preparing this ingredient with an antidote, so this is gonna be a simple pure plus 12. Is what you're going against right now. Okay, just a plus 12. Yeah, I'm going to give you a minus three, simply because of the disease is making you hard to concentrate, you know. Because everything that's happened, also because you're freezing cold. Fair. Yeah. Uh, sorry, well, minus what for me? Three. Minus three? Okay. Sorry, let me start making the roll here. And then Toto can assist if Toto would like. If Toto has, uh, Toto has nothing to help with. It all right. Well, I would like to use this button. No. <laughs> so you have to use it till it works. I'm going to use intelligence first off. Okay. As my as my base, and uh, then we're going to throw on. Uh, Uh, my alchemist kit proficiency as my skill, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, cool. I can do that. Yeah, you can add you can add your skill and you can add your alchemy skills. No oh, wait, but cannot be my it cannot be my skill of choice. Or can I add a um, skill and that? Skill and that. Oh. So, okay. All right, that's awesome. Do I so wait, I get to add int twice? Uh, yeah, let me know how it works again. Yeah, that that, that sounds very good, especially because I have expertise well, in this. Some enchantments can get to the point where you know you're like a plus twenty five against it. Fair, fair. If you have enchanting kit, so the same for alchemy, you may add your enchanting kit bonus or as a TP uh, using ATP. So this costs one TP to do so. If you have expertise in your kit, you will do expertise plus your ability modifier of the base ability score. So it'll be in plus your uh, expertise. But I have um, mastery. Yeah. So you'll basically your ma so you have mastery in the kit. Yeah. Okay. So it'll be yeah, it'll be double it'll be double plus the ability score. You can do it twice. Okay. So. Yeah. Cool. So my first TP will be used to add uh, plus 11, no, 12, mm -hmm. which brings my total bonus to a plus 9 with the minus 3. Um, my second TP will be for, I guess, am I a what? So I could add Arcana as well then. Mm hmm Okay, then that will that will be another nine to that, me making it a plus eighteen. Yeah. You have to realize doing that, you've only put yourself five above the base mod of this. I know. <laughs> but I'm I that's that's just two of the eight TP I have access to. That's true, but there's also not like you know eighteen different abilities that increase that heavily heavily increase your modifier. This is true. Um, all right, and then we will go for uh, let me open up the funny document again. My bad, perform, tinker, this yeah, button. I know, I, I know the names button. that I have. This button, I need to button. just look at what they do again. This button. <laughs> Button. All right, so we'll use a TP for bookworm. <laughs> that is a clear odds or even, so I will. <laughs> oh, I know. Which will give me a base twenty, um, and then I can, if I choose to do this, uh, we will go ahead and make it a. What does this say? History check. What are you using? Bookworm? Test. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a 11 plus whatever modifier you pick. Let's go for, um, plus. we'll go for a plus three, an additional plus three. I like that. Okay. So, so 14. yeah, I have to make a 14. So, come on. Okay. Yep, that'll do it. So you got 23. Yep, so I'm at a 23. Um, and then we'll go for, let's see, um, this button, <laughs> this button, <laughs> this button, you know it's politics. <laughs> if only you fail it every single time, there's, statistically it has to be in your favor at some point. There's yeah, that, that is how it works. Paper four doesn't help because I'm not <laughs> in the academy. This button <sighs> might help. Do it for the people. <laughs> God, I need Eureka as fast as humanly possible. Uh, but right now you have this. I mean, button. sorry, not Eureka. I meant case review. <laughs> Eureka's amazing. Never mind, you're Eureka. <laughs> it's like a minus ten to your roll. No, oh, yeah. yeah. Like a DT twenty three intelligence uh, test, and if you pass, <laughs> you get a plus fifteen. If you fail, take a minus ten. 
It's just DT twenty three intelligence. Yeah. Yes. It's just so intelligence. Yes. Julia yes. has to do has to get like <laughs> like a fifteen. Yeah. No. It's not fifteen. It's a uh, eighteen. 17? Yeah, I have 19? to get. 17? I have to get a. 18. I, I have to get a 17. 17? For me. Plus, what's your oh yeah, you have a plus six, sorry, not plus Yeah, five, for okay. for Julia. Yeah, yeah. Most people would be a plus eighteen. It would have to be an yeah. eighteen. That's absurd. Right. Mine would be a twenty two. Yeah. That's why it gives you a plus fifteen to your roll. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, uh in that case, we're just going to uh Fine, we'll we'll fucking do it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This button. Because <laughs> you all told me to. What is it, James? Uh, let's go odds. Okay. Woo! Woo! Let's go! Yeah. I don't know how that happened. I Complete honestly... Failure. I don't know. I, I am so sorry, Julie. I don't know how that happened. Minus because six, it, it never works. <laughs> Look, it worked right there. <laughs> See, hold on. James, odd, odd or even? Uh, odds. You're just not based enough. Just... <laughs> Damn. Because James keeps choosing odds when I want it to be evens, because all I can roll is evens. <laughs> the one time he says even, it's gonna roll odd. Okay, well, I would have rolled one there, but it still would have been overwhelmingly even. Alright, so anyways, minus six. How does that put you? It puts me at 17. Plus 17. Right. Is that your oh, final no. count? Because, um, well, I mean, unless I can add, um... Uh, you know, I think I can... I, uh, I'm gonna make an argument that I can add, uh... Uh -huh. <laughs> um... Uh, show off. I'm trying to show, show off. off. Okay. <laughs> You can try to show off. If <laughs> just if it doesn't work, you're not because I can end one for you. Hey, James. What does show yeah. off do? I'm gonna go up behind Julia. What the Here. fuck do you mean if it doesn't work? There's uh, if you like fail no the ability battle. There's no penalty. I'm, I'm saying if you fail the ability battle. Oh. James, 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 James. I'm gonna go up behind Julia. Okay. And I'm gonna start telling Julia a story. No. Okay. Okay. I don't like this. About. It's gonna be a very dramatic story, James, and Julia's gonna get a plus four. Are you using your? Are you I'm using my new storyteller because you edited it. <laughs> but that's always been there. You didn't... No, dramatic player rush of words and hidden words are new. That's never been there. Oh, you no. you reworked it, and so yeah, and now I have it. Slow miss the persuasive words for your allies themselves. It can. Also be used to kill an enemy or place a hand in some other way. Who's logged in as me, by the way? Uh, I am because it's... <laughs> Log out of my account! <laughs> James, it was being fucking weird. <laughs> Delete my account from your computer! <laughs> Take that much effort! <laughs> Damn, I can't believe Wolf's been committing internet fraud. You, you, you asked and I was like, oh shit, did I log in as James on accident? <laughs> Julia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, so so many people. Man, if your allies are trying to be more persuasive, no, this would work. If your allies are trying to be more persuasive or deceitful towards an affected creature, they're not being deceitful or persuasive. Oh right? damn. They're trying to be smarter. <laughs> yeah. Damn. See, I thought you were gonna do something different, but you know, I'm not gonna help you with that. Anyways. What do you mean do something different? Hold on. So, anyways, uh, Julia, is that your? Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll do show off, if you're <laughs> letting me. Actually, let me read show off. Read show off. Hold on. Uh, success of DT, uh, it's either lower, hit, exactly, or above. It gives you different modifier. Explain how Julia's showing off. I need to. I want to see Julia in a state of pride. To oh, do this. I, I, I was, I was more joking. <laughs> I was like, if you want to do this, I'll allow it. But I want to. I want Fair you not. to explain how Julia has the minds of wanting to show off right now. No, she doesn't. <laughs> All right then. She, she doesn't. She it, normally she would, but like, 
this has not been she's not in the mindset of that right now none of this happened she's in the mindset that we will never talk about this again all right so plus 17 was my plus four yeah this counts as a this counts as an ability test though right uh it's an ability battle what are you looking at now i'm yeah. looking at folktale oh uh i got to d4 to ability tests i'd allow that all right but that would also require you to ch be charming uh julia right now oh that is true Go ahead let's roll. see if Coldal has anything roll okay what do you wait? Okay, what is Coldal going to? I'm curious. I have no idea. I'm actually no. I don't think Coldal has anything that uh, affects out of combat. Yeah, no. Coldal doesn't have anything that affects okay, out of roll, combat. Roll, Julia. <laughs> I, I could won't beat you. interfere with that simply because you used button. I could beat you. It's two v one. You know what? Should I, should I just mulligan the roll and force a coin? All right, I'll coin. No. Be fat. God damn it! <laughs> All, All right, right, Julia, we have to coin now. Um, I mean, hang on. Hey, don't uh, you dare! Let me put it back to that. Oh, wait, no, you have to you have to coin first in this. Se I'm pretty sure in the sequence of events, I think you have to fail for it to work for you to activate it. Well, I, I am failing. Fail. Well, no, I think you have to have failed. As in, if you do this ability and it doesn't work, you can't just uh, go a coin afterwards. That okay, yeah, we should, I mean, we should, okay, fine, we'll coin first, James, because you can't I'm, I'm fucking recoin me. I'm clarifying the rules. <laughs> I'm clarifying how the rules would work. You bastard. Yay! <laughs> Yay. <laughs> that, was, that was, look at that, that's so close to a six. Uh, yeah, so and I don't, <laughs> it just kind of stopped at a dive. <laughs> I think that's bullshit, too. <laughs> That is bullshit, but that's funny. It's okay, I managed. All right. With that, uh, you may you basically uh, I was gonna actually forget to even add a penalty to make multiple at once, but with that high enough roll, I will say that you do actually make enough to uh, give antidotes to all three of you in total. And uh, what it looks like when it's done. Uh, what type? What form do you have it take, uh, Julia? Do you make it something like something you chew on? Do you try to like crush it down to like a uh, like a tea type thing? Is it just like a disgusting liquid? Are you trying to be fancy about this? I did not show off, and I'm not trying to trick anyone. So no, it is just going to be a disgusting liquid. Okay. Uh, syrup. So basically, you all are given like you're pulling out some some cups and there's this like slushy like blue liquid that just reeks of like 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 old dying fish as he as uh, Julie really had to just go into the guts of this uh this animal to extract what was needed and Julia hands it to you I think you know I could live my life like this I I, I it's, 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 you know I'm going to close my out. nose and chug it All right you it tastes horrible it tastes like it tastes like rotting fish mixed with just like you know like you know some like uh old lettuce old wiltering lettuce and it just really sticks on your throat and just when you think it's done it's just like that aftertaste like just that weird garlicky for some reason aftertaste afterward and just, <laughs> but you force it down and you try not to throw up and then uh, you see, as like you, uh, do you try to pretend like that it doesn't taste disgusting? Yeah. Okay, make me performance. Let's pretend this is fine. Um, can I add an ability? What ability? Oh. Performance or Arcana save, I accept. Let's see here. There's a soldier ability that works for this. <laughs> I, I'm going to be artistic about my performance artistic. to get bored of Artistic. Here. Artistic. I'm rolling a performance. You're James. going to artistic. Are you raw talent? I How are you being talent. artistic? How are you it's using? No, you know, okay, I'm, I'm, I am blocking you. No, you're not. No, no, no understandable, roll. James. <laughs> that was just my shit post. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm blocking you. <laughs> you I don't get you don't get an ability. Talent. You can't roll talent because at the end of the day, it's up to the GM if you can use it or not. <laughs> no, right. you're rolling right. a flat performance. You've insulted me. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna roll a towel at me drinking slush. All right, uh, mm, the yummy mm. liquid. You there's a bit of the uh, Julia. You see, there's a bit of disgust in Toto's face, but you know he does the best job trying to keep a little smile, uh, as to try not to vomit. Julia, do you sort of take it back? Yeah. It's fine, Porter. It's fine. Do you it's try to hide the dust? Sure. All right, <laughs> let's go. Do it better than Toto. Can I use deception? <laughs> uh, I'll allow deception. You're trying to deceive Porter right now. And may I also add in walking fort? <laughs> walking fort? Is that that's more? I don't know. Which tree is that in? It's uh, it's soldier. Oh yeah, yeah, you were, yeah, yeah. That's that one. Then. Okay. Yeah. Good then. It's only plus four. It only barely, almost sets me to the point where Toto and I would be like equal. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, there's just gonna be a plus four to this because I don't want to add a. Let's have a seventeen. So you take it back, and there's like there's a moment total where Julia just wants to puke, but Julia's trained after all of Jux's and uh, even her own experiments to just hold it back. So there's just like a blank expression, like her, the emotion leaves her eyes, and they're just blank, and she just disconnects her taste buds for a moment. <laughs> just fucking disconnect the taste buds. I just like you know, to disassociate. Uh, let me just disassociate from my tongue for a sec. <laughs> And then she blinks a few times and goes back to her normal, like, facial expressions. And then uh, both of you just look over at Porter. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Either you drink it or I'll make Cold make you. Uh, I, I don't need to drink it. We don't need to. I could just, you know. I guess it's I, been a good run in the Academy then, hasn't it? I, I, you couldn't, like, make, like, this into tea or something? I, you've done it for, for, for Taps' medicine. That's because it's Taps, Porter. We are in the middle of the world. Why don't I get st special treatment? What if I need to have it taste like tea? Does Porter even like tea? No. <laughs> James, I'm turning cold old human. Okay, okay! He just Here drinks. comes the choo -choo <laughs> he just, he just <laughs> chugs it the moment he sees you in a cool. <laughs> he starts rolling on the floor. It, change your back! <laughs> Alright, I change her back. I swear I'll puke it up, you don't! <laughs> I change her back, James, but Koro looks so fucking happy right now. <laughs> I hate you, Jules. I hate you, Julia. <laughs> Look, some creations just have to be like this. <laughs> I know you know how to make things taste good. <laughs> I was one of the classes. And with that... Do you think Julia ahead. understands how to cook or make things <laughs> taste good? You think Julia has a comprehension of flavor? <laughs> You're talking to the wrong person. And with that, uh, the day goes on, and it, it, it it's still you still have to stay close to the fire. But you know, when you wake up covered in all the covers, you're actually sweating, and for the first time, you don't want to be covered in everything. You actually feel uh, the spring the spring air, and you feel normal. I, what do you mean? I I'm relishing in this moment. <laughs> <laughs> being warm <laughs> yeah Toto's Toto's doing like this fucking early morning happy dance oh it feels so good to be warm again oh let's go get that painting and head back to the portal before it closes on us I think my taste buds are permanently shot all I taste is rotten oh bitch. come on Porter quit being such a baby we're warm again you feel better don't you it was worth <laughs> it it's like I'm swimming with my mouth open in a school of fish I pick up Porter James and I swing him <laughs> his bag. Go get your bag so we can head home. Uh, <laughs> slip me down. Can you even lift Porter? Yeah, do you have I have strength? a 12 strength. Ah, okay, you okay. can I, so You can have some candy root on the way back, okay? 
<laughs> He's just sorry. He takes them from his backpack and shoves them in his mouth. You don't think I was grabbing some? See, exactly. You're fine. Let's go. Whatever. <sighs> All right. I can't taste them anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Since that day, I can't taste them anymore. <laughs> All right. Uh, you go and you uh, you head over and you eventually go track through Dino's town and I'm guessing grab all the stuff. Yeah. Grab the things. Yep. Okay. And, and I can't believe Porter lost it in the river. As you, yeah. <laughs> As you grab the rest of the things and you leave, uh, you just feel, uh, Julian Toe, you feel a hand on your back. I see. There's no one there. I see Kino in the ghost ship. Yep, I, 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 I see Toto turn and I'm like, oh god, oh no. <laughs> I'm like... I'm just going to keep walking and pretend like I didn't notice it. <laughs> There's a strong wind, and all you hear is a whisper that's in tongues, but when it reaches, when it goes through your ears, it's almost like it echoes back in your brain into a language you understand, and it just says, please don't give up on her. And when that wind goes by and you take your final steps out of the town, you feel that mana, that boost of mana, leave and dissipate. As a strong, another strong wind takes it away from you, and things feel normal again. You can breathe normally again, and you see the town start to crumble a bit, falling apart, showing almost like showing its age. It's almost like whatever that thing did has completely wiped this area clean of mana. We won't. No promise. James, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I don't know what you imagine for, like, what the Beastmasters would do for, like, a grave or to grieve, but that's what Toto's gonna do before they leave the town completely as it crumbles. Okay. You do a, a you do a sort of a varying ritual rite for Beastmasters, and afterward, uh, you go. Normally it would involve telling a story involving it, but you don't know the stories of this place, so you do, you do everything else. Yeah, I don't think we should tell that story. Yeah, I, I don't think it's right to do that as we say goodbye to it. Man, I remember when Keto fucked you all up. <laughs> <laughs> One blast! Oh, it took! <laughs> Bunch of peasants. Uh, and with that, you all head out. You head back. And after some traveling, another day goes by. The portal is there waiting for you. A uh, portal back to the academy. Yay! Uh, would would Saffron and Quinn be waiting for their team to arrive back? Or are they just going to be waiting for them to come back to the dorm? I'd be waiting at the dorm. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're probably like waiting in anticipation like we don't know when they're coming back like maybe they'll be back early maybe they don't make it i don't want to see the portal close and them not coming through <laughs> speaking of which <laughs> how's I mean, quinn handling make... juno <laughs> yeah yeah that's what i was thinking we're not gonna yeah. talk about that yep you go and we'll, what we'll say is that you two as you're uh, in ancillary waiting in anticipation, the door to the meeting room uh, opens up. And the first person to step through is Barkley. And then you hear the sound of dragging. And behind him is Sully. <laughs> and that's it. The other two died. <laughs> Sully barely survived. <laughs> I don't want to go back in the woods. <laughs> Oh, come on. You said you lived out in the woods. Yeah, but there were so many things out there. <laughs> His eyes just go dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, we're back. Um, w what did y'all do? We were poisoned by junk, by uh, jocks. We were freezing for two whole days. 
Oh, it was to my core. I just couldn't do anything to warm up. I wanted to swallow fire. Wasn't Crystal with y'all? Uh. Uh, oh, come on, Tab. I don't want to move. Come on, we're back. <laughs> and you see Crystal dragging Taps, who is just, like, crying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see that there is actually a uh, when you look at Taps, there's like a scar on her right arm from like a like a massive claw mark. Taps, Taps, are are you okay? What what happened? <laughs> it's so cold. I'm so tired. I, I don't think the cold gives you big like marks on your arm. Oh, uh, she looks at her arm and she tries her best to hide it, but she really can't. <laughs> I, uh, we, we, uh, got into a fight. Uh, Taps saved our lives. We got ambushed while we were sleeping by some roamers. Oh, okay, thank God. Okay. Damn, I didn't realize this was Good a job, pre-written Tab. adventure path I could uh, followed. Um, <laughs> when's the combat final? Is it the, the next day? Yeah. Come on, Taps, I'll go put you to bed. <laughs> she just, like, collapsed. She ragdolls. <laughs> I'll lift her up with ease, and then I'll go tuck her in the bed. All right. Thank you. You did a good job. Uh, thank you. This Don't is worry. so cold. I'll protect you tomorrow, Titan. Thank you. All right. And with that, uh, we're going to cut. Uh, after you, uh, so Quinn, at this point, are you waiting for the other group, or are you just gonna go see if your sister's alright? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go see if Zeno's come back, so we're gonna head over to Gold. Okay. You rush over to Gold, uh, and what you see is, uh, going across the main foyer, and as they're going to the dorm area, is, uh, I think it's, who's in there, Finn, Gino, is it the sister? Yes, I think Chris is actually in the chat. Yeah, they had a third. Yeah, Pretty I sure. I have my notes in front of me, so. I'm trying to figure out where his group is. I don't know where they are right now. Do do. Do do do. I'd imagine it's Chris. Yeah. It's probably Chris, but you know, I, I usually have the notes. Here we go. Just. It is Chris, yeah. You can stack you back down. All right. Uh, so you see, kind of uh, you see, kind of uh, Chris walk out, and he has in in front of and behind him, tra trailing behind, spaced out is Juno, and sort of like um, he's kind of carrying um, Finn, who's unconscious. Are you all okay? Uh, you see Juno will look at you. Oh, huh. hey, Quinn. Yeah, we, we, we're, for the most part, we're fine. Well, you, you made it back. Yeah, we did. And she, like, sort of smiles, a sort of a weak smile. Yeah, he's okay. cured, but he's out of it. Um, and he likes him up to, like you. As he turns toward you, see that Finn has like a he's bandaged up on his side. Uh, the bandages are bleed through, and he's just sort of like it looks like he got hit really badly. Do y'all want some help taking him to the infirmary? Uh, yeah, um, we have already. He's fine, it's just that whatever that thing was that came after us, it the wounds are harder to heal. He just needs rest. Yeah, just needs rest, but he's he's okay. And Juno kinda of looks frustrated. Um James, I'm gonna light carry Finn to mm -hmm. help him get him because Chris is probably also pretty tired, so... Hey, you see there's cuts and scrapes on Chris, and on Juno, but, you know, they're, they're not as nearly as dinged up as Finn looks. Yeah, he's not keeping good. 
Mm-hmm. Right? And you take him out. And yeah, if you ask about how it went, or you sort of leave it them there. I'll I'll leave it until Finn recovers. I feel like it's a sensitive topic. All right. They passed, or at least they aren't obviously like off on me failed. No, they so, passed. Like, that they're okay. If you made it back, you probably passed. <laughs> yeah, like that. That's my point. Is like okay. None of y'all are dead. Passed. None of you have died. I'm pretty sure none of you've died. Are you sure none of you've died? I'm sure Finn's not dead. Yeah, we haven't seen Julia's group come back yet. This is true. <laughs> yeah, but Juno's okay. <laughs> you turn around, and as you get a breath of the Juno's okay. Oh, look, the rest of your team is coming back. As you see, uh, Porter, uh, dejected. Slumped over, walking <laughs> toward the dorm. It was a day ago, Porter. Come on, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> With Julia and Toto, uh, in tow. Toto kind of just like a bit quicker in a step, just moves straight. Well, as soon as they get close to the dorm, just sort of moves straight toward. Uh, you're guessing maybe the main re- main area. It completely ignoring if you say anything. Julian is a menace and an evil, <laughs> evil, evil leader. I raise an eyebrow at that. <laughs> Julia, what is Julia's response to that? I'm sorry that I saved your life, Porter. I, I don't know if I can apologize to, to, for that, you know? You knew maybe death was a better option. I still taste it. It's like grabbing me in the back of my soul. I'm damaged permanently, Julia. <laughs> He's just gonna walk away. <laughs> well, then don't drink that poison again. <laughs> it's best to reinforce these with negative, negative precautions. You wouldn't want somebody getting hurt and then having it be them. sweet. You could have just crushed up some candy root. You could have done anything. slam the door <laughs> Julia is a firm believer of positive and negative reinforcement <laughs> Gwen do you comment more on any of that I don't want to leave the topic of death here for a second it can't be helped sometimes I guess Uh, do you know if everyone? Do you know who all's made it back? Uh, Barkley, Sully, Crystal, and Cap, and Chris, Juno, and Finn are all dead. I see. So at least they've all made it. Those who matter. Mm-hmm. Funny. <laughs> no one. Uh, has who else has it passed? Uh, would Saffron go check up on Porter, or would Saffron not care enough? Oh, uh, I feel like Saffron would have watched that happen, and when Porter goes into the room, that's that's uh, I'll let it be. Okay. But I will say something to my good friend Quinn. Okay, go for it. I'm a, I'm glad that we didn't get poisoned. I'm glad too. What did that poison even, like, do? It inflicted a uh, chilling core. Which, uh, I suppose you aren't familiar with, are you? Uh, not at all. I'm glad you're gonna explain it to me right now. Um, essentially, it's a disease where... No matter what, you can't seem to warm up. So even if you're... Well, honestly, even if you were burning alive, you'd probably still feel cold. Yeah, I'm uh, really glad I didn't do that then. Yeah. I'll 
pat Julie on the back. Good job. Uh, I'm ready to uh, take another exam with you tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed your uh, vacation. Saffron, I think it's more that you had a vacation. Oh, uh, well, I mean, like, they got to travel. Traveling's fun, right? Not when you're chilling to the cold, chilling to your bone the entire time. Well, think of it as like a ski trip. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Right. <laughs> think of it as like a trip to the mountains. What was skiing invented? I don't know. This is uh... your world. I was curious, like, in real life. In real life, uh, there's, like... What was the concept some... of sliding down a hill invented? There early... It it's depends on where in the world you are, really. I feel like that's not too much Dean of a Dean has concept. a history of almost five millennia. Yeah, I, I'd say, like, the idea of skiing would... Yeah, yeah but it's not like, exactly a skiing with... trip. Yeah. It's more of a, oh, hey, look, we can transfer shit through the snow using this. I, I feel like some people would have just slid down the mountain. I, I, there's not like a skiing resort or like that. The warriors, would the warriors would make it recreational. Yeah, the warriors would immediately make it recreational. <laughs> well, well, they only have a cars. couple. They have like one mountain, so. <laughs> there's some hills up there. Not a mountain. There's some snowy hills. <laughs> they got a lot of mountains in Libra. Yeah. yeah, I grew up on those. <laughs> yeah, I got a whole mountain range. You, that's where you were banished to and trapped <laughs> behind. <laughs> Not me. That little blue section after the mountains, that used to just be Guild Troy as well. It's <laughs> Alright. So, uh, what happens is uh, you guys do that. Toto, you pop into the meeting room. You see that no one is there, and then you go into the, you go knock on, I'm guessing, the door that Tina's in. Mm-hmm. Porter opens it, and just doesn't even look at you, just dejectedly goes back in his room. Yeah. I'm gonna go to Tino's door and knock. Go away. I have something for you, Tina. Go away. I think you'd really want to see this. I can already feel what you're trying to do. Go away. I'm not allowed to, Tina. You, see, you feel the the door opens up, uh, and you see Kina. Even though Kina looks like uh, she's still on her bed, she's just around, covering her blanket, just sort of like looking at you through the dark room. I step inside and close the door behind me. When you close the door, um, the candle, the candle like light on the wall sort of like flickers on. What do you mean, huh? I go and I sit at the foot of the bed and I lay the painting down so that she can see it. She looks at it for a moment. Uh, you make me inside if you want. Uh, you see that there's a flicker of some emotion. Emotion, not sure what it is, but when she looks at it, but she hides it very uh, instinctively behind just that dead expression she's always gives. And <sighs> the painting of me. So what? Um, we were walking. Uh, we were close to the warrior's territory, from what Porter said, and there was a old dirt path that led to an abandoned town. A ghost town. Or I would require there to be a ghost. A vacant yeah. town. The only thing that was remaining there was the manor. And there was a small hunter's lodge. And we found this painting in there. Right. So, we thought that you would actually like to have it since it's from him. Buster is always trying new things out. Without that, maybe you can 
have a profession as an artist if he couldn't find game on any. She goes silent. It doesn't matter. I left that place in such a rage. I don't even remember half the stuff in there. I don't think I want to remember what was in there. But, uh, y you know me. I'm one of those nomadic storytelling hippies. I always enjoy a new, a new tale if you want to talk about them. I'm quite curious, actually, considering what that place looked like. And, you know, this painting is, is quite beautiful, Kino. I, I think, I think he captured you quite well. Persuasion. You can add me with something if you want. Alright, um. Shit. Uh. Uh. Yeah, no, technically that counted as a little bit of a flirt, but I don't know if I want to do that, no. You flirt. Go for it. Do yeah, it. let's. Do it. You know what? Bet. Let's yeah. flirt with Kino. I think the painting really did you justice. That's exactly what I just said, so let's do it. I'm going to flirt, James. Uh, you get a plus eight. Yay, art. Alright. She sort of curls up more into her herself. It's different talking about it out loud. Like, it's... It makes it feel like it's just a memory now, and it... And it's over. Like, Foster, he, uh, he liked to, he liked to do a lot of different things. He liked to read, he, he liked to cook, he, he wanted to, he always to do something with his hands, to keep himself busy. And sure, he started painting, he hated it when he painted me, he thought, didn't look like some grotesque monster, but he kept saying I was beautiful, and so he started doing it when I was sleeping, so I wouldn't be that angry at him, and he ripped the painting in half. And I was the only one that survived my, I guess, <sighs> my little hissy fits, but I guess I liked that one. I always had trouble sleeping until I met him. He always knew how to calm me down so I could actually sleep. And she'll go silent. It sounds really nice, Kino. I'm saying I'll circulate my thoughts. I, I'm saying it too. It's not. He's not gone. I'm no, I'm. I know he's not. Uh, when we were carrying the painting out. He asked that we don't give up on you. Uh, I'm going to let you retcon that, because it was actually a feminine voice that said that. Oh, it was actually a female voice? Yes. Oh, I did not know that. I thought it was his. Sorry. I had also assumed that was Foster's voice. <laughs> that was a feminine voice. My bad. Oh, okay. That That's weird. That I don't like. Because now I do know who that was, and I don't like that. Um, alright. So retconning. Um, I, I know he's not Kino. I've talked to him before. Why are you doing this? 
because I don't like seeing you hurt. And I know what it's like to lose somebody close to you. We've already been over this. I'm your friend, okay? I'll protect you. I'll work with the team. But you don't have to pretend like you like to be around me. All of you are scared of me. I know that already. We, we can go on. You don't have to worry about me. I won't hurt you. I've already told myself I won't. I promised Foster I wouldn't. It's not that... No, I don't... I have to, but... It's in my nature, you know, and... Everybody fears somewhat things that they don't quite understand, but that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to understand you, Kino. It's your nature to care about humans. So that's why I'm telling you, you don't have to worry about me. You don't have to worry about a creature like me. Before I let that side go, all I see is terror from people around me, even you. You don't have to pretend, Toto. You can be scared. There was only one person who ever wasn't scared of me. And that person still is me. And she'll grab onto her necklace. So thank you. But honestly, you talking to me only makes it worse. Because you act too much like him. God's sake, you even use a bow like him. James, I'm gonna give Kino a hug. Uh, alright. I need a charisma saving throw. Let's fucking go. Alright. Why? As you, Why? Uh, you find that? <laughs> you find that? I... I'm kind of curious as to what's going to happen. I'm a little mad, but I'm also super curious, so I'm just going to leave that. You are trudging. Uh, when you move your body, you shift your, you shift your weight over to like sort of go over and, and hold her. And suddenly, you're standing up, and your feet is cold as you swish around, and you feel like you're in water. The area around you is almost like a gray plane, and across from you is Kino. She is sitting down, uh, her knees are, like, uh, she's sitting down in the water, it's basically, she's halfway submerged into it, and you can see her visibly crying. Well, I'm gonna run towards her, James. You try to run, but then you feel a hand grab out and claw into your leg. You see a dead corpse. Don't go! She'll kill you too! And you feel that fear as when you look into it, you see one of those villagers. It's what it looks what that sunken skeleton like face to, it turns into one of the women that was shouting for uh, for Foster's head. I'm going to like try to kick the hand off and keep going towards Kino. You you wade your way through and you hear more of these voices as you get glimpses of who they once were women, men, children. Uh, anyone, anyone in that village, you see them clawing at you, begging you, Don't go! She's evil! A monster, a beast, she'll kill you too! Don't go! Lead away! Lead away! And as you get closer, something else starts moving in the water. Almost like a serpent-like creature swirls around Kino, and the beast uh, surfaces. It looks horrendous. It looks disgusting. Multiple eyes, this like purple-like liquid oozing out into the pool, and it stares down at you. And you can't help but be afraid. You don't know what's going to happen next. You don't know where you're at right now. But you feel, just like when Kino hugged you before, that just monstrous aura emanating. And you just he keep hearing the calls, the warnings. Don't go. She's evil. Don't go. She'll betray you. Go, go, go. She'll kill you like she killed us. She can't be trusted. She can't be trusted. Turn back. Don't go. 
I'm going to turn around and I'm going to shout at them to shut up. <laughs> like, as loud as he can muster, he'll shut up. Charisma save. Alright, let's go. Please be higher than a fucking three. And with that, you shout, close your eyes, and shout as loud as you can, and then there's silence. No presence, no uh, dripping. It's just silence. And all you hear is the soft cries of Tina. And the soft dripping, as you turn around, you see the tears falling into the water. I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to hug Kino. You hug her, and when you blink, you're back on the bed. You sort of still feel as if your body is, your, your, your will itself is trying to tell you that this is dangerous. That at any moment, that whatever this thing is could snatch with the very dread, the very being out of you, leaving you like a husk. But you fight against it, and you hug her. And then after a moment, she lets go. She, she's been clinging onto the cover. She hugs you back. Kino you know, hug me back up. If you're a monster, that's I'm truly a monster compared to everyone else. You don't have to hurt yourself to be near me. I understand. I lost the only one I had. I I I I understand, but I. And she just starts crying. I'm just gonna keep holding her, Jazz. Alright. Eventually, she'll pull away. And you leave her as she wants to be alone. Do you give her anything else, or you just leave it at the, at the painting? I think the only thing that we wanted to give her was the painting. Alright. And with that, what's gonna happen... So are we, we end at 7.30 or 7? Uh, 7.30. Okay. Uh, anyways. <laughs> you, she's a heartless now, Toto! <laughs> it's the only way! She's a nobody now! <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Uh, is there any, uh, any more conversation to, to take place before the exam tomorrow? Um, Toto's gonna go talk to Stephanie real quick. Okay. You find Stephanie, and she sort of has a flask in her hand, and she's drinking as she's, like, looking at different schematics at her desk. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, what's up? <clears throat> what's up? You good? No, not at all. Uh, where are we at? And she like actually actually look a bit out of it. Okay, we're here. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, okay. Um, I get that honestly, but um, we were out in the woods, and this really, I I woke up from one of the other you know oh spooky nightmare thingies um, and there was. A specter around Julia? Oh. So you're dipping into the last one, huh? You barely even got- You've just got Relic down, and you're already trying to unlock the other two. That was present. Ah. Okay. As long as it's normal. It's the ability to tell recent actions, what's going to happen right now in the immediate moments, to predict one's will, to predict how people are going to act. It's very useful in combat. For instance, and uh, she'll, uh, she'll toss you a book, and then she'll close her eyes, throw it right at my head. I'll toss it at her head. All right, and she dodges it perfectly. She actually waits, and she dodges it perfectly, so it just barely gra grazes by her. That was weak. Did you think I was going to dodge it? I kind of wanted to watch what would happen instead of actually trying to hit you. She tosses it again. Try harder. I know you're not going to be able to hit me. I'll try harder, James. You throw as hard, you throw as hard as you can? Yeah. 
I do it as hard as I can. Again, just a bear miss, and it hits the wall. With a, a thud, and it hits the ground. Like I said, you can't hit me. Cool. What you're seeing is what's about to happen. You, there, it's pretty uh, solidified, though. I wouldn't try to use that on Julia. Why? What's wrong with Julia? A lot of things. She's the worst <laughs> kind of people. Uh, I don't know what you mean by that. You will very soon. Just, I guess at this point, don't try to predict what Julia's going to do. It's just going to give you a headache. Uh, okay. Got it. Not like I was doing it before anyway. It was just... It was very brief. Um. <sighs> right, right. Okay. Um. Anyways, she'll get up. And she'll uh, look at you. You're almost out of time, huh? Yeah. Uh, she'll smile. How confident are you in changing fate, Toto? Toto's gonna think for a second, cause, and then I think at this point I have a better shot than I did before. <laughs> you have grown. And I wish I could tell you you still have one more chance to avoid this, but that last chance was a while ago. And she'll hug you. I'm sorry, Toto. He's gonna deflate. I didn't need to hear that from you, Stephanie. And she'll smile. She'll pull you away from you and smile. She still holds, like, holds you with her hand. No, I mean, sometimes you need to know that I still know that you're human. I'm going to pull her into one more hug, and then I'm going to go. Toto's terrified. Toto, and she'll stop you. Yeah. If there's one person that you can trust to help, just have Julia do it if you're not sure. Okay. And she'll go. And as she likes what you're doing, you leave. Anyone else doing anything? To like, I feel like for the rest of the time being, Toto is looking at Julia really fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Nothing here. Um, questioning why Toto's looking at me like that, but not gonna <laughs> say anything, because <laughs> I thought we all agreed we weren't gonna talk about last night. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. But no, other than that, I'm probably just, like, resting up before combat, because that was a whole ordeal, and tomorrow I have to jump right back into something. Alright. I'm gonna make everyone some tea tonight. Some relaxing tea. Yeah, yeah you, you're already fucking done with your finals, bitch. Some, I'm gonna make everyone some hot chamomile, help them get to sleep, <laughs> warm their sides. You know... <laughs> What has Quinn been doing the last couple of days? Because Quinn has uh, nothing to do. <laughs> hanging out with Barrett. <laughs> he's leaving in like a week. Yeah, yeah, he's I'm leaving. I'm finals. Yeah, he's so leaving, quote unquote. He's leaving. <laughs> yeah, he's leaving. It. There is That would be a definition of leaving. Yeah, I mean. This plane of leave. existence. I'm going back to my scarf now. <laughs> Stop me. Uh, actually, Rebel, do you want to just participate as an NPC in this fight? Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, give me an NPC. <laughs> give Crowan someone to get. Give me someone to get killed. Uh... <laughs> who do you want to die? Who, who who's you? in combat class? Like, who who are the potential options? Me, here, Saffron, and Air, and uh, Julia. Okay, I so those are all PCs? 
<laughs> I believe the exact words were, what NPC do you want? From those that you're allowed. So in total, it's Kino. You know what? You can play Toto. You can play it, Toto. It's Kino, Taps, Porter, Barkley. You are not allowed to be Kino. And I prefer you pick. I prefer you pick Pap, Taps or Porter, honestly. They're the easiest to understand right now. Okay, I'll do, I'll do Taps. Because I was going to pick Kino simply because I know Soulcatcher, but I will, if you won't let me pick Kino, understandable. You can't pick Kino. <laughs> I, just, know I know secret. how Soulcatcher works. If you pick Kino, you'll know my secret. So if you pick Kino, you're not playing the Soulcatcher, you know how they work. <laughs> yeah, but I'm playing a Soulcatcher that I've witnessed a lot, because you play Wraith. Yes, Kino is definitely a Wraith user. Okay, well... <laughs> Well, she's either that, or she could be the telepathy. No, that's Ted. Ted's the telepathy one. Those are the only two girls that you I know. You want to play Ted? But I know how the... Ch I can, can I play Ted? <laughs> she's not in combat class. Can yep. I play Ted? Yep, I'm just playing Ted here. <laughs> this changes nothing. You're still not in combat. Yeah, but I'm playing Ted now. So, uh, I'm, Ted now. I'm playing Ted, actually. Can I play Sully? <laughs> Sully isn't uh, in combat either. Sully's not in combat. Thought he was. Nope. No. He no, didn't take Noah's combat. Noah's a wuss. Noah realized that maybe he shouldn't be in this school. <laughs> there was enchanting, gardening, and uh, history. History, yep. yeah. I have to exchange like a few abilities here. They know how to exist. <laughs> but no, my point, James, is like I know how soul repeat works. Like that kind of stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know the yeah, basic yeah. functionality of Soulcatcher. Um, yeah. I haven't played Warrior since, like, Brutal Strike existed. <laughs> since Domino. <laughs> but Warrior's essentially, hey, this is a cool way to hit someone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me do this. Do that. Totally forgot that I changed my intro. I can't fucking touch Kino. Oh no, you're playing fine. Porter. Uh. No. No. Fine, no. it's okay. I can just. I know how Warrior works. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. That's Fighter Tree. Okay. Expert striking. Yeah, expert strike's about the gist of it, you know? Just use expert strike. You will win. Uh, one last one. We're all done here. So, uh, that's not how expert strike works. Uh, here we go. There, yeah, I can, I can warrior. You can warrior. I can't help but notice you're no longer, uh, Quinn. <laughs> what? Why don't you give your access to Because I'm not playing Quinn for combat class. Duh. Uh, Rebel, He's not in Rebel. combat. I think the spoils in your sheet. I probably should have checked that before I gave you access to it. <laughs> oh, no, you're fine. Hey, I haven't clicked on the sheet. I haven't clicked on the sheet yet. Okay? <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Are there any spoilers on the sheet? How do I activate huh. her monster move? Uh, don't drink. Don't drink the tea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's starting at full health. Yeah. All right. So you guys go in. And essentially what's happening is that uh, what happens is like, all right, so this should be fun. Um, I think, what, Saffron, what do you think this class has been about this entire year? Uh, beating things up. Exactly. And, and honing <laughs> our skills. Mainly beating things up. But yes, honing skills is actually the point I was going to get to. Thank you, Saffron. But uh, you all have done a great job killing things, maiming, uh, learning how to get out of the impossible situations I've, been, I've put you in. And you've really honed how to be a killer. And that's what I want you to be. I want you to be ruthless on the battlefield so that nothing can stop you. You never know what you're going to have to expect when you're fighting. So you have to go in, I guess, in moments to draw. If I were to pull out my weapons right now and charge straight at you, Julia, what would be your reaction? To go on the defensive until I can make an offensive. Exactly, exactly. What about you, Toto? Hmm. 
My initial thought would be to make it to where you can't hit me. Oh, okay, how would you do that? <laughs> I don't want to talk about Just that. Just so, and he now. like rushes <laughs> towards you with like a like, like a boom of light thunder. He's right next I to you. I try to charm him, James. <laughs> <laughs> Your instinct is to charm someone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, my first instinct when it comes to Ian is to charm him. Uh, you rush forward and you try your best to just uh, what do you uh, you you pull out your your instrument, you start clacking away at it, and as you like, just fearfully <laughs> clack away at it, and he stops right before he's about to punch you. And he's like, "All right, I you fight like Leanne, which pisses me off, but you know, fair enough." <laughs> that was the most terrifying moment of my entire life. Damn, I can't believe he that Toto almost died. <laughs> <laughs> Toto almost got yeeted in the first five seconds of Fight Club. So, the battles start red. He's like, alright, so, all of you are going to be fighting, and I'm going to do some things to make it more, uh, he thinks, fun. <laughs> None of you are going to witness these battles. You're just going to hear the screaming from the outside. So first group is Team uh, Team Iron People. Let's go. The rest of you scram. I don't <laughs> like this. <laughs> well, I guess we're supposed to leave then. Oh. I, I assume we're talking as we're leaving. Yeah. Uh, so I assume we're fighting together then? That's what it sounds like, at the very least. Do, do we want to, like, strategize or something? Like, do y'all want me to make you weapons, or...? I mean, I think you understand where I'm at with that. Well, I wasn't really talking to you about that, but in anyone else. Um, well, Quinn kind of gave me this new epic bow, um, so I think I'm okay. Epic rare. Epic legendary! I have epic a musical rare. book now, and it's pretty fucking rad. James, how does crafter preparation work? Uh, it's same as Soulcatcher. So three is three every level. Yeah. How get many four. levels does he have in Crafter? Because I, I, uh, I think it's a four, four, five, four. Beast master, or is it a multi-class? Oh yeah, for, yeah, I gotta give you extra beast. Um, she is a. Well, her beast is only for hugging, so I'm not <laughs> using him. Go. What's she good for? Oh, she has pet and then bones. Yeah, no, she's like a level. She's a. I think she's a. You guys will say for five. Five. She's a four one then. Okay, four one for five. And she has a power give it to you if you want to get them to it. It'll just be for healing herself. Or her friend. Yeah. Yeah, Cinder? Yeah, buddy. All right. So is there any more strategy happening? I mean, I'll make Porter his bunny sickle. Thank you. Uh, I'm making myself my war pick and my hand axe. Uh, uh, what do you think they're gonna have us like all fighting one team or? It's well, hard to say exactly. I mean, no other team went in there, so. I would assume it's by team. What if we just fight Ian? I am going to be terrified out of my fucking mind. Yeah. You die first, Toto. Thank you. You're at that welcome. point, yeah. Uh, at that point, you do hear yelling and uh, like a, like sound of things getting crashed into, and uh, a bit of a, a bit of yelp of pain. Um. <laughs> yes, but do we hear Ian yelling? No. Alright, probably not fighting Ian then. 
And then at the end of it, you see uh, limping, uh, beat up, and bloodied uh, Team Iron emerges. Oh, fuck. Including and Sylvia and Fee are like, and bruised. Boston <laughs> in combat? Uh, no, Boston's not in combat. Let's go, Boston. Uh, I give Fee a thumbs up. There's like, there's just a look of horror in his face. <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh. And then, Team Wood, get in here! <laughs> oh. Well, I can't say I didn't expect something of this sort. Bye, Scars. Have fun. <laughs> oh, you have fun. Don't die so quickly. You know, at least give them give a chance or something. <laughs> Yes, I'm dead. Summon a second hand axe after hearing that. Oh, James, mm -hmm. element, elemental slash and mind rotting. It says they apply to your natural weapon. What mm -hmm. is my natural? Everything from the first branch. Yeah, that's all natural weapons. Okay, mm -hmm. so the bone claw and bone forge. Bone claw, bone forge, bone armory, they're all natural weapons. Yeah. Bone um, dart. <laughs> Bone dart. All right, cool. So, you uh, you see that there is um, there are someone else on the field. You see that there's a maybe either an, like an upper class what you can expect, uh, making like sort of boundaries out of like uh, stone, or sorry, not stone, out of wood. You just like sort of forming objects. Damn it! <laughs> I was about to say mason stone, the upper classman. <laughs> Yeah, it's great stone. It's, it's stone and dirt being packed in. Good job, Mason! <laughs> oh, I don't yeah. anymore. Right, sir. <laughs> cool, so we got the guys all settled out. So, um, ignore the blood on the sand. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to bring out a creature, and I, there's going to be a, a flag somewhere deep in the creature. Either kill the thing or pull the flag out. Either way, you pass. So... Because of how many people are in your class, we're gonna split you into two groups. One group of three, one group of four. Or yeah, yeah, see. Did I do math? Yeah, I did math right, yeah. Because like everything everyone pretty much everyone in wood is in combat. <laughs> Except for Crystal. I'm not in combat. Crystal and Quinn. Okay, so Quinn. Chris Crystal Quinn Sully. Yeah. Well, uh I'm gonna be on the team with taps I'll go wherever anyone needs me uh Porter how about you come with me uh I have to go with taps we fought with her before uh not taps I have to go with Kino we know how she fights we can work around it uh, uh yeah I'll make it easy or less work for me you actually have to try Kino I'll try I promise Alright, Judy, I guess we're with Saffron and Taps. That sounds fine to me. Cool. You're a team first, points at you, Julia. Alright, oh, now okay. for the actual challenging part. <laughs> Julia, come here. I got uh -oh. a little gift for you. Uh oh, I don't uh, like this. I don't like it either. Do -ba -do 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 -do. Turn around, spin around real quick for me. <laughs> I hate this, but okay. Uh, da, 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 da. You see as as Ian casually blindfolds Julia. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> now the rule's gonna be, as he walks up to Toto and does the same thing, you can't be the one that takes off your blindfold. Da, 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 da. If you do, you're disqualified and expelled. <laughs> and he puts one on Saffron. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if Quinn was in this class? <laughs> It's all right. I'll just push up my glasses harder. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Uh, does this say blinded? Does it say particularly blinded? The blinded. You're immune to the blinded condition. Okay. So, uh, cool, cool, cool. I cool, think. Cool. Hang on. I'll, I'll, I'll double check. Uh, it's like Get right, right down. Here, hang on. 
uh, you cannot be blinded while holding or wearing this object. So you do that, and then uh, one goes into taps. Ah, I'm scared. <laughs> and uh, all right, so 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 Julia, after a minute, uh, you can't see, but then eventually, you it's like your glasses shine, like it's like a bright light going through, and you can still see perfectly fine. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> cool. Everyone else, you're blinded, and so uh, you, Julia, you watch Ian just drag them all to different sections. <laughs> I see. <laughs> and you get dragged and you're put right next to Toto. Neat. Oh, also, Kotal's also been blinded. <laughs> Kotal was... There was never a hat the, made for Kotal, but the blindfold the was made. And the bear. <laughs> I see. I'm annoyed. <laughs> Do you really think I was going to let you cheat like that? I know you can talk to your snake friend. <laughs> hey. Can... Th does she count for taking off my own blindfold? Yeah, you know what? That's a good thought. You can't use your pets to take off your blindfold. <laughs> Damn. But you can take off other people's blindfolds, right? That's fine. Alright, then we're good. Alright, open the gate! <laughs> ching, Don't ching, open ching, the ching, gate! Ching, 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 ching. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Cool, yeah. I'll just... yeah I've, already, I've already summoned my four fucking... I items. mean, yeah, I'm just gonna do the... Uh, I'm just gonna spend the funny mana, because I don't know how many turns, how many rounds this combat's gonna yeah. be. Hey, we're gonna do three mana. Uh, it's... We'll be slashing... I want three? I will say, just so you have an idea, uh... uh what is it? Taps does use a shield. Just so you know. Okay. Because I know she has the, the one hand where it's just like the end of the long sword. Mm -hmm. I like her having a shield. Okay, I wasn't yeah. going to pick two handed. She has a normal long sword. If you want her to summon a blade, you can, but she does just have a normal long sword as well. I was going to have her summon a blade just so I can use the elemental slash of hand rotting. Yeah, that's fine. I was just letting you know. Yeah. yeah. No, that's why I was asking what those apply to. Mm -hmm. Um,. I was just that. checking. All right. Uh. Anyways. Uh. We'll you... go with recent throne. Ah, throne. It's a, it's a I see weapon. a fellow connoisseur. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh God. Um, the second person to have a throne reach weapon on this team right now. Wait, do you have reach on yours, Julia? No, I have a. I think I have. Yeah, I do. I don't. I don't know what I have in mind. The, the second the property axe. never comes up. The hand axe. Oh, do you not use finesse? Oh, no, oh, you can't use this here. Never mind. I thought you had the finesse property. Oh, da, 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 da. Uh, right, oh yeah, so... no. Well, it was finesse, but then I got rid of my my one point dip into that tree because I got rid of the feet that gave me the one point that I had to spend in that tree. Uh, so you guys actually feel a thunderous. <laughs> Uh, like a clap of thunder as something heavy just starts charging on the field. It's like, rrr, rrr, and it just makes loud, thunderous noises and it just shrieks. Uh, and Julia, what you see, it looks like a rhinoceros, but instead of a horn, it sort of has like these plates that when they vibrate, explosion of thunder hits something. And it just seems to be ravenous and like it's scary. Yeah, all right. You can make me a nature check because I forgot what it is. Sure, I'm not down. <laughs> Let's see. Do I know what it is? Oh shit! You might know what it is. Oh, it's called a boomer roamer. Oh, a boomer roamer. Okay. Uh, all you know is that it, it you basically shakes those plates violently uh, to let out a massive amount of like a, a basically like a, a equivalent to a clap of thunder, like sonic blast. Um, it also is gets very angry and it focuses on one person until they're dead on the floor and shambles. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Well, Any questions? <laughs> no, no, I think I understand what, what this thing does a little bit. <laughs> yep. But also, this thing looks a lot bigger. Um... 
and a lot scarier than they normally are. So you think that there's something wrong with this one in particular. Fun. All right. Anyways. Time to roll initiative. Let me get you on the field. Of course. Uh, to make this fun, uh, this was going to be fun that no one can see the enemy, but since you can see, it's right here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Everyone else is blinded, though, I by the way. I hope I get a zero. You're, you're going That's off not the a sound. zero. It's okay. I'm good at hearing. Can you hear? Because I cannot. Oh, 18 buddies. <laughs> Both right. rolled 18, a coin? so there's a difference of seven. Uh, coin, you right? should. Yeah, I'm going to I have a pet. Fuck. Who are you coining? Myself. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> I want to attempt to not be at the bottom of initiative. <laughs> Alright, we all good here? Anyone um, pointing? I was about to say, we're, we don't have total on the initiative, but... <laughs> yeah, sorry, I was looking something up real quick. Alright, first up heck. is Julia. Julia, you can see perfectly. Um, you know Toto's right next to you. Uh, Toto, you can hear, probably, Julia. I'm just gonna grab the blindfold off of Toto. Okay. He did tie it very intricately, so it's gonna cost you an action. I figured it would. I'm gonna grab this. <laughs> I'm just gonna take it off. <laughs> right. Toto, you feel, as soon as it starts, Julia just spins you around and just, like, yanks it off of you. After, like, a couple like, quick uh, undoing of the notches, yanks it off of you. <laughs> yeah? You good there, Julia? I'm fine. Okay, I'm gonna go get the others then. Cool. Let's, uh... Julia does this entire fight with her blindfold on. <laughs> oh yeah, Tony, you, I noticed you, Julia's blindfold still on. <laughs> yeah, no, that's why I asked if she was good, and I was like, alright, well, if Julia says she's good with the fucking thing on, then I'm going. <laughs> Julia can fucking see! <laughs> Can you see? Because <laughs> I can. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. Well, then we're going to go. Uh, we're going to use my bonus action to activate Bestial Shift. Okay. And also uh, the other thing, uh, Defensive Body. Okay. Uh, yep. And then we're going to move... We're going to lastly use my, uh, I think I have 55 feet of movement speed to run up to this boy. Got it. <laughs> awesome. This is where I am. Is it? They turn? Yep. <laughs> Got it. Will I regret Saffron. this? Probably, but. Saffron, you can hear that the creature, you can hear the creature is like over here. Um, but that's about it. That's all you can hear right now. It's so loud. Alright, watch this, James. I'll walk here and attack in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Does that okay. run? You swing, and you, it's not there. You know there's a wall to the to the other side of you. Do I know there's a wall there, James? No. That's no. fair. That's fair. You know, 50 50? Or are you just yeah, gonna you're go right. full? Mm -hmm. Uh, low, I'll, I'll attack the left. Uh, high, I'll attack the right. <laughs> Let's see how I fuck up this wall. You hit the wall. <laughs> you, there's a massive ding, and uh, you actually cut away, but you feel how tough it is, and there's no reaction, no breather or anything. Uh, yeah, yeah you hit the wall. Let's. Uh, Julie, you also can see that, like, deep, like, impaled kind of, that's probably why it's so pissed off, impaled deep into this thing's, like, back, uh, like, in between one of the plates is the flag. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Saffron, that was your action. Oh, fuck, sorry, this isn't a Warhammer anymore. This is too high of damage. Hey, James, is thunder its own element, or does that fall yeah, under lightning. something? Lightning. Okay. It's a slightly shorter war pick, so that still could have done the same damage. It would have been a D6, but okay. I forgot I can't dual wield like this. Are you dual wielding right now? Yeah, I have a hand axe in the Are you going to bonus action attack? I, I, I felt contact, right? 
Yeah, but you can tell you you're you're more experienced with fire. You know that that's a wall. You know that that right. thing didn't reflex or move at all, and you hit a wall. All right, hold on. Let me make an end check. <laughs> it can't be the direct light to me. Uh, no, I, I, I. This was just to see my fucking bearings. All right, I'll attack to the right, James. You good? Saffron, it's over here. <laughs> too late. I'm not. I just. I no, I know. <laughs> huh? Huh? You miss. <laughs> and I'm speaking louder than normal too. I see. <laughs> I didn't want to do my offhand, but I realized it's too late. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. Then that's gonna be this thing's turn. Um. Goodbye, world. It's gonna actually disengage. It's gonna not disengage. It's gonna move away from you, Julia, so you can make an attack opportunity. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> well, I mean, there's actually a good answer to that, but why wouldn't uh, I? You hit. All right. Nine damage. Okay. It's gonna take another uh, five foot back, and it sort of like just gets his hooves ready. Then it just charges towards you. <laughs> It'd be like that. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I think on. it's over here, guys. Uh, Don't worry, I'm helping. Thanks, Saffron. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, so it's gonna just go. It's like a another like like bass boom of thunder, and it just rushes towards you. I need a dexterity saving throw. Well. Um, that. Okay. I don't have a point, do I? I don't think so. I okay. need more. You used it to uh, make it move before Toto. So you get out, you jump out of the way of it, and it goes here, and it sort of just stops, and then it, like, turns on the tail, turns around, and then it's going to attack you. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, so it's going to hit you with one of these. <laughs> Minus one. <laughs> Alright, what's your AC right now? Uh, 21. I hit. Um, okay, so I'm going to command, because I read it, it says if either I can see it or her, so Kotal is going to switch places with uh, Julia. Okay, is there a range of that? Uh, give me one second. Like 30 or 60? No. Okay. There is no limit to the... There needs to be a range there, but <laughs> I, I think I would be within that range. Okay, so you're switching places? Mm-hmm. Okay, Cole takes 11 piercing damage. Man, this is disorienting. Uh... But I can kind of <laughs> see. <laughs> it gets confused, uh, and then it's going to just attack Cole again. Uh, it's going to hit. And Cold is going to take another six piercing. Uh, hold on. Okay. Actually, wait, sorry. More damage. Sorry, it was uh twelve damage for the sorry, it was twelve damage for the second attack. What's up? Even if Cap didn't have the funny flute, her pet's a fire beast. Yeah. Jesus, <laughs> it's on a fire type. Yeah. Eighty five. Forty. Forty five. <laughs> Rebel and bodies tap. It's gonna. It, lo it looks like it's searching well, for someone. Well, <laughs> like, I have a pillow that I am clutching. I am embodying taps. So it looks like it like kind of turns the corner, like just moving around violently, and it like hits the wall, and it looks it looks directly at taps, and then it turns around and it just keeps looking for someone. <laughs> Toto. Oh, I see. <laughs> that persists. All right, so uh, I can't reach anybody. So 
so I'm just going to take aim at it. Damn you, slow beastmaster cuck. <laughs> Shut up, all right. So I'm going to use the funny bow. Okay. Double shot and disabling. Okay. So let's hope this fucking hits. Yeet. That's a 34 hit. Yeah, that does hit. 34 does hit. It takes 17 damage and needs to make me a con save DT 15. Alright, pass. Okay, then we're going to add on another, fo uh, another disabling. But this one is just a musical longbow. I don't have double shot on this one. Okay. Alright, that hits. Ten. Okay, passes with the con save. Alright. And uh, when you do that, it kind of just like hoves a bit. And it's just like, you see like a blast of... <laughs> it's sort of like just a blast of thunder and it turns around and it just looks at you. Hey, buddy. I don't think it's looking for me anymore. <laughs> All right, is that your turn? Yep. Okay, Coldal. So Coldal's going to use her bonus action to activate uh, Resilient Defense. So she is now resistant to physical and lightning. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah. Okay, so nobody is injured right now except for Kotal, right? The wall. The wall. That is yeah, true. That is this true. wall is losing some hit points. Yeah. But so I don't think Kotal inhale it. Because it's not a creature. Kotal goes here and removes the blindfold. Okay. Can Kotal see me? Yeah, Kotal's Kotal blind. Have... Yeah, oh wait. Oh, Kotal yeah, can't Kotal see can't see you and neither yeah. can, can Toto. Yeah. All right. Kotal's blinded still. Yeah, Toto can see. Toto can direct Kotal. Yeah, yeah, but you can't see Saffron. You can't see Saffron right now. What the angle you're at right now. Saffron's good. Yeah, I can't. The wall. So I can't see anybody that's a problem. But I can direct Kotal to go attack the thing. Mm -hmm. This is so true. Kotal, Kotal go over here. However, does it still technically attack with disadvantage? Is the real question. Yeah, does uh, she still yeah, attack that with is a disadvantage? Track. Yes. Your okay. your bond is not that thick. That is that good that you can like go off of a command like that? Yeah, no, she's she's gonna she's gonna be smarter than that, and she's gonna do a ranged. Okay, disadvantage. Fucking yeet. Okay, that hits. It takes eleven light damage. Okay. And then turn? I'm going to uh, have her retreat back. Okay. So, 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay, there you go. Saps yeah. hear something. <laughs> Very loud over here. What is Saps doing? Rebel. Oh. Okay, we're, we're going we're gonna <laughs> to try to help. <laughs> uh... is am i going to target the right space here that's the real question like how much of an idea does she have of where it is it's pretty loud uh and taps is a pretty intelligent person unlike yeah. saffron yeah. <laughs> that's fair what do you mean <laughs> what taps in school bitch uh a 15 oh that is higher than mine <laughs> She's, she's got just, a wisdom. She, yeah, she's, like she's, she's got a good perception. You know, she's intelligent. Hey, my she's just a coward. <laughs> I'm... Yeah. So... We're gonna... Swing at it. But she can't see, so she's not gonna try to add anything onto it. Okay. Um, but if I hit... So, Expert Strike doesn't say that I have to be able to see it to see it. It's just if you hit. It doesn't, yeah. You mean you have you make a tech yeah hit it. Um is there it's just a contest roll. Okay. It doesn't 
look like there's any downside. Mm-hmm. Fail. There's no downside, no. Cool. I just want to check. So I have the kitchen exit. It's going to be a mess. We're going to try again. All right, that hits. Okay. Uh, so we're going to do eight slashing damage. And we're going to okay. throw... Um, we're we're going to try to do a dislocating flare. Okay. It also adds a strength modifier, so keep that in mind. Go ahead. Or dex. Or dex. One or the other. Yeah. It's a athletic. Yeah, I think I think it'll add that is dex modifier, guys. Don't worry. So is it a DC fifteen or is it's it? DC. Heavy? It's gonna be a fifteen, but I'm gonna add my strength modifier like to it. Oh, okay. Cool. And I'm I'm not telling you what the modifier is, but it's gonna be yeah. higher than that fifteen. That's not supposed to be disadvantage, but I, I, way, it's not gonna work. Then. Yeah, it doesn't work. Uh, yeah, and I don't have a free hand, so I didn't take their bonus off. So, her being blinded, I don't think she's going to try to do anything else with her bonus action. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Got it. So. Uh, with that, taps his pet, who is also blinded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have the pet fly. He flies? <laughs> what do you mean the pet fucking flies? This entire time he was actually an aerial pet. He just looks like a bear. <laughs> Damn, I can't believe you please. fucking randomized the petty Ursa. <laughs> He hovers off the ground using fire. It's just that he's never been in combat. <laughs> he's Klein. <laughs> we got a fire normal type heady or so. gonna try to head back to Taps. Alright. That's where the noise is the best idea I have. Okay. Done. Julia. Alright, well. After getting my bearings as to being like, what the fuck, where am I? I can even see, and that was confusing. Alright, um... Ah, Saffron, perfect. I get to play the game. <laughs> You're useless right now. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> uh, Saffron, will you cooperate with me for a moment? What? <laughs> uh, yeah? Just gonna untie it. Alright. I don't have to yell anymore. <laughs> you didn't have to yell before. <laughs> Good job, Saffron. <laughs> what, 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 what am I doing? <laughs> you see that? Uh, okay. Are we killing it or? Ah, uh, good question. I don't see a way to get into it. So, um, at this point, yes. That was your action, Julia. Oh, uh, yeah, that was my action. Um, Let's see. I think it was 40 feet to get here. Uh, So I got 15 feet. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, And I can't go diagonal with my 15 feet because that would be 20. So I could only go, like, to here. Okay. Um, I mean, you could... Do you have 55 or... Hmm? What's your movement speed? 55. You've already taken two diagonals, so the next one's five. Have I? Yeah. Yeah. No. You essentially went. Oh, well, I guess not, but. Yeah, well, next one's ten and then five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna go uh, there. And, um. Uh, I can use a bonus action. Um, let's use one that will maybe work. Okay. Um, we're gonna spend three mana on a bonus action. Mana stimulant. Okay. Got it. Alright, is that your turn? Yep. Saffron. Boom. Ready for me to play the game, James? Yeah, go for it. Alright, first I'm gonna reduce its AC for water damage. 
fight you. Got it. Then I'm going to hit it. Okay. Go ahead. For, for, for eight damage. Got it. Then I'm going to hit it again. Mm -hmm. And this one... Oh, okay, well, I missed, so you that's miss. not... You know what? I'll, I'll I'll just hit it with the hand axe. Twenty-two. It's for ten damage. Okay. It's my turn. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, let's see. It's turn. to take a five. I'm going to go back here so you can do a, use an opportunity attack. Oh boy. Water. I'm going to say that misses. Yeah, it misses. Yeah. Okay. Let me read this real quick. Hold on. Uh, so it's going to, again, uh, just get started. So it's going to go back one more time. So let's go here. And then it's going to charge. The charge to, like, here. So I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw. And also taps to make an attack opportunity. Who's making the dex save? It'll be a disadvantage. Uh, Saffron. Oh, that's that's me. Taps misses. Okay. I'm not I'm not happy now. Uh it sort of runs through you and as it hits you it's like another boom of thunder and you get uh you get knocked the, the wind out of you. You take eleven uh points of lightning damage and you're knocked prone. That's fine. They don't end at that charge there. And then it's going to hmm. is it just gonna move and just ignore you completely. Cool, I'll take an attack of opportunity. Go for it. Uh yeah. Yeah, that hits. Thirteen okay. slashing. Got it. And then it's going to... No. <laughs> and it's going to... Hold on. Let me do this math real quick. Kill Toto, yeah. 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 Are you so scared? So yeah. Because, um, I kind of... I kind of forgot that Toto can just fucking yeet. Um, but it's fine. I, he he yeeted Lorben. His life's mission is complete. He can die in peace. Okay, so he's going <laughs> to attack Toto. I'm going to hit Toto. You take five piercing. I'm going to attack you again. I'm going to hit. Um, so... Oh, sorry. My, my bad. Sorry. That first hit you took um, some more damage. Uh, that first hit you took, um, eight piercing. Okay. Okay, you doing anything about the second attack? Yeah, Kotal is gonna switch places with me. Okay, Kotal will take 15 so piercing. Good. Uh, Kotal is resistant, so she only takes eight. Alright. And then that will be its turn. Toto. Okay. So Toto is actually going to use <sighs> crap. It takes an action to do that. Uh yeah, we're just <sighs> why does it take an action to heal my pet? Anyway, um Uh, because pets will be very broken. 
Yeah. It, <laughs> I have a tank that I can constantly move around to protect me, and he does has nothing to do with my base HP. And then I can heal him without using my main action economy. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> shoot the damn thing. Kotal will limit, start to limit that so that she, because she needs to heal too. So we're going to double shot. Uh, and it lasts until the end of this turn. Yes. Mm, last, yeah. The music thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's still on, and we're also going to add a disabling shot to this. Okay. All right, that hits. Uh, needs to make me a DC 15 con save. Okay. Okay. Pass. Okay. Then my second shot also has disabling on it. Okay, that hits. Actually, wait, yeah, that hits, yeah. Okay, DT15 con save. Okay. Did it make it? Yes. I mean, I'm gonna coin it. Okay. Because I don't want to fucking die, guys. <laughs> uh, okay. Fail. Yay, okay, so now it has disadvantage on all of its attacks. Next turn. Mm-hmm. Later turn? Yes. Alright, Kotal. It's time to use its funny special ability that we haven't seen yet. <laughs> what are you talking about? Where it doesn't use attacks. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't okay. Make, don't make a line towards me. <laughs> so, Kotal is going to use um, Elemental Bubble. So, uh, Julia and uh, Saffron get do 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 do. <laughs> fucking four temporary hit points. I fucking hate everything. Hey, that's four more than I had. That's true. It's just true. Hold on. How close is she to Toto? <gasps> Toto gets it too. <laughs> Okay. Alright. So that is her turn. Okay. Taps. Is she gonna try to follow the, the creature? <laughs> Taps can't see. Do you have any qualms with the path I've taken? Oh, okay. That's true. Doesn't mean you know what you're attacking. Yeah. She doesn't. Um. And because she doesn't, we're doing second verse same as the first. That's, That's gonna be a cool. miss. Uh, yeah, that hits. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh. I could just try Vicious Flare, you know? Mm hmm. Why wouldn't I? Go for it. I I'm gonna fail, but I can try. You fail. <laughs> oh. Okay. Five out. Eleven con. Got it. Now is it bloodied? No. I know. <laughs> Look, I'm not using this character to its full potential until she can see and know she's not accidentally hitting her friend. That's how you play taps. Mm -hmm. I agree. This is beautiful. What explosion? Uh, is that taps' turn? Uh, yeah. Okay. Taps' is pet. Okay. The pet knows where Taps is, right? No. They have a general idea, but it's not a precise locating. So uh, anything you do that, because that's the loudest thing. <laughs> cool. They have a general idea. They know Taps is in this arena still. 
<laughs> Maybe a general direction. Yeah, yeah I was like, like that way. Direction. Yeah, but not precise enough where I'm like, I'm now next to my master. <laughs> You doing anything? You probably can hear now that you're close enough that Tap is next to this thing. Well, at the very least, I got I got some friend next to me, so we're gonna we're gonna shielding stance. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. That's that's just one mana, right? Uh, yeah. Does it doesn't cost anything at all. Yeah, stances aren't mana, yeah. they're just action. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, it didn't have any mana listed, so I was like, uh... Real close mana. This isn't on tap to see. Then that is the pet's turn. Alright. Cool, 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 cool. Julia. Catch me debating what I sh what I should do with this turn. <laughs> Fine. Can you use another action? <laughs> Are you attacking? I'm I'm going to use another action, James. Let's go, Julia. Tap so hold still. Just take the take her blindfold off. Okay. All right. Cool. Oh, that's really big. <laughs> and with my bonus action mm -hmm. um just a quick question am i able to enchant um my bone armory with the bonus action because human forge only says when i create it so i'm oh, fine no. if you say no that's but fine. that's fine okay i'll allow it for now cool um yeah so that's uh all right so with my bonus action i'll spend two mana and uh it is now as enchanted with featherweight okay which still uh i've used all of my action economy okay and i'm probably not in the best spot you so you know what i think that this is a better spot to be in. Okay. Is that your turn? Yes. Saffron. All right, I'll stand up like a pro. Got it. Dude, do I see the flag or not? Uh, yeah, you see it. It's sticking out of there. Oh, can't I just, can I just use carry on the flag? No, it's lodged in there. Okay, that's, that's much, okay. Good. I'll, I'll walk over here. Okay. I have athlete. I don't care about being prone. Oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, I actually hold on. I'll be a homie first. You know what I can carry, James? What? The blindfold off the funny snake. Can you? Can you? I can carry objects, right? Yeah, but it's like secured to the snake's head. Yeah, it's secured. Head. It's it's like yeah. they're all tightly secure. That's why it's been taking you an action. You cannot strip someone with carry. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Can can they carry Kotal onto the back against the flag so Kotal can try and pull it out? Sure. <gasps> yes. Well, you, you you can carry the snake. There's no reason you wouldn't yeah, be able to do would that. I, why wouldn't I just carry myself? <laughs> That's true. You could do that too. That's your funny. I'll, I'll do that, Jim. Or somebody that can actually see. Okay. I can carry see. Yourself. Yeah, I know, yeah, but like, why would like literally okay. anyone but the snake or the bear? I'm, I'm on it now, aren't I? Okay. Uh, if you release carry, you'll have to make a grappling check to stay on it because it will buck you off. And no, no, I'll fly next to it. Okay, I'm, I was, I'm, carry. I'm making sure you can clarify how you're approaching this thing. Can I try <laughs> to gut the flag from it? Uh, sure. Make me a athletics check. Okay, James. Just athletics or nothing else? Athletics, yeah. Just flat out athletics. Alright, it's okay, James, because you know what? I have 
for it. Research mastery. Research mastery? Oh. Uh, I'll okay. coin it. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, the four stays the same, so I'm just gonna take that off. So that's a 25. Okay. You. <laughs> You try to lodge into it, but when you do, it just goes, and it, uh, you get it out a little bit, and you do to feel like, uh, and tug, but it's really stuck in there, and, um, I'm going to do this, I need to make a strength saving throw. I see. I forgot uh, to roll for You take six lightning damage. Yeah. And... Uh, you are you fall prone, so you're on your carry still. You just fall prone and you're deafened. That's fine. What did you? Well, you took six lightning damage, so you know so what yeah, that means. Me that concentration. Oh, you're right. I'll fail the concentration. Wait, no, I'm good at concentration. Yeah, you are. Yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. Fail that concentration. Yeah, I'm good at concentration. All right, so you fall down on top of it, and it sort of just bucks you off. So you're here. <laughs> uh, how high up is it? Oh, well, hi, we're, uh, yeah, you're I... fine. The way you fell off, you didn't take fall damage. Oh, boy. You're still prone, though. That's fine. <laughs> because, you know, James, that would, ah, uh, nah, I'll just wait. I'll stay prone, because I don't think I have movement left. Okay, so that's Well, turn. no, because Carrie doesn't use movement, does it? No. Uh, no, Carrie doesn't use movement. He uses all movement. It's yeah, okay, I'll just stand up then. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm fine, that's my turn. Okay, so, uh, it is, looks like you got the flag halfway off, but it's, like, really lodged in there. Um, so, what's it gonna do? It's going to... And I would have stowed a hand axe to do this. Oh, okay. Well, no, I'd stow the war pick. I'd keep the off hand up. Because that's not as important. So, uh, what you see is this thing go, <laughs> it's another boom of thunder, uh, and then it sort of just disappears in a flash of light, and then that light goes straight through, uh, let's see, that light goes straight through Kodal and straight through Toto, and then it, as it reappears, there's a massive boom of light, lightning and thunder. I need both of them to make me a uh, dexterity saving throw. Okay, so Kodal's dex save. I, why is she on disadvantage still? Okay, it, that's a 17 for her. Okay. And for me... Oh. Well, no, Kodal's still blinded, to... right? Oh yeah, Kodal's blinded, that's true. Bro, I just that noticed that. That would be disadvantage. Kodal's still blinded, so that would be disadvantage. So it oh, is an 18. Okay, yeah. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, and I'm being mean right now, so I'm not going to tell you what you could have done. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, I learn the hard way sometimes. Uh, so both of you are going to take uh, 14 points of lightning damage. You're knocked prone and you're deafened. Deafened gang! Quinn Sorry, gang and you're rise also, up! And you're also dazed. So Kodo has no sense of anything right now. And then I take fourteen. Yes. Quinn both of you fail. Both of you take fourteen. Okay, I am very much bloodied. All right. And it's going to actually like break through the wall a bit. <laughs> Just break it. And. Sorry, so you are you also are dazed and all that stuff. So what I'm going to say right now is uh, you have Elemental bu Bubble on uh, Toto, right? Yeah, that you was lightning it. damage, You though. can pop it to auto- Oh, was it- what'd you have it on? Uh, oh, is it, is it just bubble? your pet's It's elemental? only light. It's oh, okay. only Kotal's element. Okay, I thought it was uh, you choose the element. Never mind then. No, okay. it's not choose the element. So. You're going to- he's going to pop up five feet, and then you are dazed on both of them. He's going to then rush to. What is it? He's going to rush to here. So I need 
uh, Toto, Coldal, and uh, uh, Julia to make me dexterity saving throws. And for Toto and Coldal, it's at disadvantage. Uh, actually, Coldal just automatically fails. Coldal has no sense of bearing right now. Yeah. Oof. At least Saffron and Tap have a plus two to their AC. Is there anything happening before I declare these? Before I declare the damage, any points or anything happening? Um. I'll fate fighter this. Fuck it. Okay. Watch this. Seventy six. Oh shit, I So I kind of forgot sensor. about my temporary health though, so I'm not as bad off as I oh. thought I was. It's a pass, right? So you get to roll. Yeah, with the plus, plus five. five. Alright. I'm gonna roll the same number. Oh, big shit. Hang on. My bad. So, I, I, I don't have it as a global save mod. One moment. <laughs> okay. Uh,. Also, uh, one thing that I did forget that makes Elemental Bubble good is that it's only a bonus action. I think uh, I so passed. I yeah, you passed. Alright, so Koldo and Toto are going to take 19 points of lightning damage, and you're fine, Julie. You're also are, you're already knocked prone, so you just got trampled on more. That's enough. Hmm? No, I was talking about uh, Toto and Koldo already knocked ah. Yeah. Uh, Toto's at three hit points. Nice. Easy. And it turns around and just stares at Toto again. Yep, that it would be what this thing does. <laughs> uh, we'll finish this round and we'll call it, because it is over time. No, Toto. that's true. For fucking ow. <laughs> um, you're, you're at half speed right now. Yeah, Toto's gonna get up. Um... Ow. So you have like five feet of movement left. <laughs> what do you mean five feet of movement, James? So James is already half. Yeah, so your speed was at 15 and it's half to get back up, so you're at five feet. Damn. <laughs> Alright, so um, I'm gonna heal Kotal real quick. Um, Unless you have more than 30 feet of movement. No. Okay. Um, and then I guess if I have five feet of, feet of movement, I gotta take my five feet of fucking movement. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Christ. <laughs> oh, Toto not doing well, guys! <laughs> Alright, it's Kotal's turn. Alright. Uh, what does Dazed basically do? Uh, disadvantage on attack rolls, you have half your movement speed. Uh, disadvantage and on some saving throws. But also yeah, you're blinded. And deaf, uh, deafened still as well. And deafened, so you <laughs> don't have any idea where <laughs> things are. All you know is that you have been stepped on, <laughs> and that it hurts. Yeah, but uh, you know what Kotal can still do? What? An AoE. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I mean, yeah, I, I guess you can. On what? Oh. You're the... <laughs> Kotal just does a fucking AoE. Uh, it's centered on herself, so it doesn't fucking matter. You're getting healed. But everybody within 10 feet of me gets 12 temporary hit points uh, within 30 feet of Kotal. Does that override my four temporary hit points? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You said within how many feet of Kotal? 30 feet. Okay. Yeah, what if I don't consent? Uh, then it's a con save. I mean, uh, I it's actually a dex save. Oh, dex save. Yeah. <laughs> I failed that, don't worry. This is just to see how I would fail. <laughs> yeah. I think you failed. <laughs> it's forced onto you. Alright, Kotal, is that your turn? Um, that's all Kotal can do. Alright, Kotal is no longer um, deafened. You're still blinded. Dazed no and longer deafened. Yeah, you're still blinded, though. <laughs> All right. Saps. Uh, so, um, so we're gonna use my bonus action 
to activate blood rage and monsters rage. All right. Um, I'm not gonna do the additional resistance. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah. no. The damage type of your choice, and I just don't see fire and ice. Wait. Okay, so I will spend the mana. So yes, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna do lightning. Okay. For my first attack, we're going to use Deceitful Blade. Okay. So, make me a wisdom save. Got it. How did you calculate your fighter DC? Uh, it's your strength plus, uh, expertise plus 8. Okay. Uh, so 15. Thank you. Okay. Oh, well, this is not a good save for him. Uh, fail. Okay, so we're going to subtract 5 from his AC for this attack. Yep. But he's bloody, by the way. That hits. Okay. You take 12 damage. Okay. Okay. Um, and that does not apply to the second attack. Um, okay. which means is the fighter tree one per attack or one per turn? One per. Yeah, I think I forgot what that does. Let me just check that out. Should be attack. Yeah. I'll look. Mm. Uh, yeah, one one per attack. Mm. One per attack. Awesome. Um. So we're gonna swing at him again. His AC is back to normal for this one, though. It hits. strength again to try to get that d12 okay um and that doesn't work yeah uh, i roll like shit on those eight, yeah no it just doesn't work yeah yeah it, um, it doesn't have a strength of two plus two believe it or not <laughs> that one's a 16 dc so um i already barely made it he's gonna take 13 damage there okay and that's all of tap's action economy because he's not gonna like move but it's my question for the pet um, mm -hmm. what if the pet wanted to like climb onto someone's leg to like ride them? The pet's small right now. Yeah, yeah, it says small. That's why I'm asking. What's the action economy on that? Pet can just it'd be an action to grab anyone right now. There's no unless someone picks up the pet. Ooh, but he can't pick it up. Yeah, you gotta kind of prep your way into doing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just thinking because he's blind still, that might not be a bad idea. But then I remembered the chances are all at. So we're going to keep, we're going to do inspiring for this time. Okay. The inspiring stance. So what you guys see is a bit of a worrying sight for you, uh, Julia and Saffron. Uh, totally may be a little bit far away. But Taps kind of looks at it. He's like, okay, okay, let's kill it. Let's kill it. And you see, like, uh, her teeth sort of, like, uh, get sharpened a bit as there's, like, a pulsing uh, red light, like, uh, veins. Her veins, like, pulse red light. And uh, she just attacks it with a reckless abandon. Uh, going past the fence, it tries to charge at her, and she slices it clean through. Her blade just cuts in deep, and she has this wicked smile on her face. All right, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. That doesn't bother me because I cannot hear. <laughs> That sign can't stop me. I can't read. <laughs> and then at that point, with sort of taps kind of half trying to transform, you don't see that she's lost complete control. She's still speaking, which is a good sign. Um, her voice isn't gotten demonic or anything, but she clearly has lost herself partly to the beast inside of her. And as you all fight this thing that seems to be bloody, it seems to be taking a turn for the worse, it, for whatever reason, there's something wrong with this boomer roamer, and it is not going to stop until it, it crushes total, total skull. And with all that, I'll see you all next week. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna die next session. Let's go. <laughs>